Texas at a great meal store. Say like taste trial like you. It's worth it. Share it. And as always, we're about to a great meal store in Chicago. And we're back at you with another uh, street team event. And then hey, come out here to tell you so far, you know, that you know, Native Americans, that you are the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures. You're not black. You're not Latino. You're not Native Americans. You are the children of Israel, man. All right. Now, here we are in the, last, in, the, in, the, in the end of the end days. You know, at the last, uh, at the latter time upon the earth, and our Heavenly Father's gonna come back. He's gonna send his son back, his son back, and we know this being a prophecy, man. And all this week, we had the spirit very heavy on that, uh, on the, on one of the very last uh, prophecies, the end of the sea. See that, man. Just, uh, like last week, we had Joe Biden, uh, sign a bill basically for like 50 billion dollars to, uh, science and tech to produce more microchips for the future of America, so the future of America be, uh, the, uh, like a, uh, basically a plant. The leading candidate, if you will, you know, uh -huh. the leading motherfucker to produce uh, So he put that out there, then he talked about this, uh, credit for the jack, that's going to be great, you know, like the forgiveness program, right? And then the jack's going to, uh, basically, uh, destroy the, the, the American dollar, man. Right. All right. That's going to hyperinflate things, which is going to lead to what the brother's talking about. Them uh, introducing a new, uh, basically, currency, man. Yep. Okay, a new format. Right. And he mentioned that, too, uh, in his uh, speech when he was talking about those chips. He said, he said this is a new era. I forgot how he exactly worded it, but he mentioned uh, 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 economically, technologically, and, uh, um, and what was it? Uh, there was another word he said, so I can't remember. But it was three main things, man. So it, it, they're, they're ready to push this, man. Yep, right and, and basically they're just the empty suits that's being uh, 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 right, the puppeteered by, uh, uh, well, they're the puppets, all right, the empty suits, all right, and the puppeteers are the, you know, global elites, the banking elites, man, who's engineering all this, man, right. you know, for uh, to get to their ultimate agenda of a one world government, a new world order and wickedness. And, and that they can play God on the earth, you know what I'm saying, but in wickedness. And this is their ultimate agenda, you know, because ultimately the one that's pulling the strings over them is the Most High God, because His will is being done. That's right. You know, and when it, it talks about in the fullness of their sufficiency, they shall be in straits. So when they look like they about to, you know, eat up, they done prepared the whole meal and everything, you know what I'm saying? Looking good, you know what Salad I'm fork is right where it needs to be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they, they got they, they, the bill on, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, man, it, it was right there in their grasp of them being God on the earth. You know what I'm saying? It's like all these things, because it's going to look like we losing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, dun, 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 you know what I'm saying? They come your Howard shot right. to smack that spoon right, right out there with the wheel of their belly. You know what I'm saying? Not in my house. Not in my house. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And, 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 and what you about to say, sir? No, I'm about to say, also, Ailed, it's not by accident that they're showing around the country to bring out their martial law how they bum rush a 7 Eleven. Why 7-Eleven? But you bum rush the 7-Eleven in the show. See, things are out of control. We need to get ready to lock this place down which all goes with the procedure you need to do to That's get it. to that December mark. That's it. It's yes, a thing sir. called yeah. gradualism where they gradually do more and more stuff to get to their ultimate agenda of crashing this dollar, you know what I'm saying, and then uh, uh, bringing in the, uh, the the MOTB, you know what I'm saying. What is it, the CBCDC, yeah, whatever yeah, it's yeah, supposed to be? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was going to say. That's, those, those are the three uh, words that you said, politically, economically, and technologically. That all leads to this. Uh, can I get it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is all leading to this at the end of the day. All right. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all. And that word calls it this pao, okay, in the Greek, which means is that something that's form, fashioned, or constructed, okay? So basically, it's not organic. It's a, a man made. Right. He knows what he's doing, all right, behind closed doors. This is not something that's, you know, out of the blue, all right? And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor. And that calls the boy into making it law, too. Yep, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a part of this society, you know, have the things and go to the store and get you some food and go to school and go to work and do this and do that and go to the 
you know, bar and go to catch a ball game and go to, you, and you know, yeah, you want some of this stuff, then it's law that you get this right here. That's right. right. So are you going to lean on, on, on man and what they saying and trusting in them? Or are you going to just lean on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and forsake that and say, you know what, I'm not taking it. Right. I'm not taking it. Even though they're mandating it for you to take. Mandating. But, mm -hmm. but it's still going to be your ultimate decision and choice. That's right. That's why the strippers admonish us to not love this world, man. Because they are citing you for the youth of this world and the dainties and your house and your job to basically call out people to cave in and bow to you. That's right. it. Right. That's it. Yep. So he calls it. Look up that word calls it going into mandating it, making it law. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Both small and great. Yeah, small and great. You know what I'm saying? Don't matter if you're poor, you're rich, you know what I'm saying? Free, you bond, no matter who you are. Alright? These banking elites, the, basically the kings, the, the ones that's ruling the earth right now, because there are somebody, uh, uh, some uh, uh, people that's ruling the earth, which are the biblical Edomites. Right. But then you have the elites of them. See, every nation have their elites, have their ruling class, and then you have your commoners in every nation. All right? And so right now, the, the, the uh, Edomites, all right, the self-proclaimed white people, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, they are in power right now. Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? right? And the wicked shall do wickedly. Right. All right, and this is how they live it, man. And this is how they're ruling in wickedness. And they have their ultimate agenda, all right, to to go ahead and uh, Dorito chip everyone, all right, with that M to the A to the R to the K, all right, of the beast. But he's reading about it right now. Let's talk about wickedness real quick, just because we're talking about, see, a lot of times when Jake think about wickedness, they just think about how they killing niggas and shit like that. But this is a whole nother level of wicked that we're talking about. See, these bankers, they loaned you pieces of paper. But when it comes time for you to pay the debt back, they not receiving back pieces of paper for your payment, man. You have to pay them back in natural resources or in the case that we're talking about right now, you. You, you have to pay your, because they think it's a debt relief. They relieving the debt by taking ownership of you. You the collateral for this shit. You. It's sophisticated with this. High level. Yes. It's not, this is not a low level of evil. Yes. This is, this is a, a very uh, you know, intricate thought out plan, man. Hey, I was just telling, I was just telling Avery last night, man. They are brilliant in their wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? But still dumb as hell at the same time <laughs> because they don't understand that the Lord is, you know, is the the, the axe wielder. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. Hey, 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 like I was thinking of a lesson, uh, uh, a gun ain't never been charged for murder. No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was always somebody who pulled the trigger. You know what I'm saying? So here it is, Esau Edom, you know, he's the gun. And he, the Most High is pulling the trigger. He's the one that's uh, 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 pulling the ultimate strings. All right, but Esau Edom still is is brilliant in his wickedness and yes, he's deceiving the people to make you think that it's something good it's for your good it's for right. good. you know what right. i'm saying it's convenient you know it's hey no one would ever be able to steal your money it's it's right, right, right 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 you know if you, you know you you know you ever get lost you know what i'm saying you know you'll ever be fine we'll be able to find you we'll have all your health information on there we'll know good. what to give you and what you need you know what I'm saying? You won't even have to talk. You know, yeah, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're going to play it like it's something good. And if you don't want to take it and be about it, oh, now you unpatriotic. Ooh. Yeah, you, you the domestic terrorist. Ooh. Yes. What you trying to hide? What you, what you, what's going on? You don't like it? You're not with America? You know what I'm saying? That's Jake at work on Thursday. Murph had rough him up and he was real disgruntled after the fact. And this motherfucker calling the police and all that shit. And the whole time he calling the cops, he, and I, I just, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I feel so bad calling the cops on another colored man. Right. Nigga, you standing, but nigga, you on the phone right now. Right. Just feel bad. And that's how these Edomites don't talk to you niggas when you don't want to take that shit. Oh man, you know, I know I respect your right to do what you want and 
Because this devil, the A, it says his words are smoother than butter, right. yet are they drawn swords, man. Right. It says, uh, Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 12, verse, uh, man, it's so much good, uh, 13, I'll start at for time's sake. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nigh wild beasts? So the Bible said, who's gonna pity a charmer bitten with a serpent? You knew that, who gonna pity you if you sitting up here trying to mess with a snake? You know it's a snake and it can bite you. All right, and it's poison. It can kill you, right? Who gonna pity a charmer? Here it is, we telling you that Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, he the wicked. We sitting up here telling you his agenda. So then when he gets you with it, who gonna pity you? It says, uh, so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will be? For a while will he abide with thee. See, it's, it look like he your friend. Look like he even trying to help you out. <laughs> it says, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into the pit. See? And it says that's why the scriptures talk about uh, at night, you know, they lay upon their beds and, and think of all these devious things and how to get you and that you accept him getting you. See, it wasn't like in chattel slavery where shit, nigga, you knew you was in slavery and motherfuckers was revolting. He was like, well, shit, we don't like him revolting. You know, and him running away, that nigga fast as hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and he's strong, and you know what I'm saying? Don't so how about die trying to chase him. You know right? <laughs> Don't about die trying to chase <laughs> How can we get these niggas <laughs> to accept us ruling and, you know, dumbing them down and, you know, doing all this stuff to them? Well, the scripture says a gift destroyed the heart. Let's give them gifts. Let's give them stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let, let us allow them to have this or that. And when it look like they get mad, let's put a pacifier in their mouth and give them some uh, bite bucks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's give them Obama phones. Let's give them, you know what I'm saying? Let's give them some EBT. Let's put, Let's get some stimmies. You know what I'm saying? Every man seeketh as a reward. Oh yeah. Let's give him a let's give him a reward. Yeah. A little gift. Yes. A little a little, a little dandelion. Uh huh. Something like a rabbit chasing the yeah. I mean, a little carrot and, and lure you right back to sleep. You was mad for a second. But then you got a little gift, a stimmy. I think they're giving out reparations, Elder. Well, come on right. with it. Come on hey, with hey, it. Hey, come on. Hey. How much? How much? Yeah. How much? That's yeah. the only they, way they'll give it. Hey, they stim gave you a stimmy. You, you gave you this like. Uh, uh, they said, uh, 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 yeah. Hey, pee -pee -pee. Pee -pee -pee. hey, with that pee pee pee, stimulate your mind, Chris. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 hold on. Do you know how many people I heard say after they got the pee pee? -pee? I ain't never seen him doing so good. <laughs> he got him. He do good. Hey, 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 hey the, the, uh, the bank of the elites, they like a uh, dude that, that, uh, that dark skin dude, I forget his name, I think he being died of. Uh, and he was like, God, I oh, yeah. got him. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah. Got him. The bank of the elites, got him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this, but this is what they do. Matter of fact, let me finish this and we'll go back to the uh, revelation. <laughs> Um, it says back in this Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter, uh, chapter 12 verse 16 An enemy speaking sweetly with his lips But in his heart, in his mind He imagined how to throw thee into a pit right. And there go his system He wants you about this system Alright He wants you about the money, cars, clothes And the holes of success and fortune and fame He wants you to ch chase that bag 
He wants you to chase the American scheme. I mean, dream. You know what I mean, scheme. You know what I'm saying? He wants you in the pursuit of, uh, what is it? Uh, of happiness, life, to the happiness. You know what the fuck do that even mean? The pursuit of happiness. Like, you know, that's the American dream. You're pursuing something that you're supposed to make you happy, but every time you catch it, it never makes you happy. Well, you, you really never pursue. You really never catch it. Of course not. But, but you can't you catch it. But thrown some stimmy. So like, you know, you do catch what they give you. Yeah, right. It's never what Those they are the It's never what they said it's going to be. Exactly. Yeah. Happiness. Only true happiness comes by following you. How about you? Right. right. Esau's going to give you the, 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 the color of happiness. The, the, the packaging. Yeah. You know, just like you go in the store and say, oh, this is organic. But then you see a little circle just say TEM next to it. Which says trademark or R, Dang. which is red registered. Dang. So, hey, uh, you own the registration for that. Hey, let me give you ten dollars, so I can go ahead on and you access to your uh, your organic trademark. trademark. And hey, organic uh, or organic tissue. <laughs> <laughs> organic, so organic Doritos. I got organic Doritos. Right. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. chai clacoline, with the ah, 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 ah. and all the other shit in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Formaldehyde. That, hey, that's how they do it. Stupid. That's how they do it. So it says the enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Always. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Woo. Right. You see? see, because this man is unsatiable and he makes you unsatiable. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Where you can never get enough. All right? Just like death is unsatiable. Right, this is flesh, it's sensational. You're always looking for the next half. You're always out of balance, man. You know, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. That's right. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 what is it? The uh, uh, they'll be over in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? What is I it? Like they gonna help you. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, what is it? Right, right. And then they ask you on in America, they say, hey, do you want to donate to the Red Cross and you know what I'm saying? And to help us help them, you know what I'm saying? When they ain't get no help. With the, that, any little money you send, that's they you giving it to they or the they organizations and they ain't even helping the actual people that didn't got this particular they organizations keep human traffic. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. They're getting human traffic, all right, kids getting raped. Exactly. You know, they they're stealing natural resources. And it's crazy, Red Cross, man. It's like almost uh, like Rothschild, Red Shield. Yeah, you know? yep. Hey, check it out, though. It they're says... The, they're the ones running the shit. That's it. Check it out. It says, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, and though he pretend to help thee, oh, shit. yet will shall he undermine thee. Yep. It says, yet will he pretend to help thee. And that's why you give him credence. You know what I'm saying? And you were like, oh, he ain't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the scripture says. Give him the the heart. Yep. So if you, if you, matter of fact, you got that one animal that run by your property, and you catch it, and every time you walk out the door, it run. And see, so man, you try to coax it, and it just dip off. And you sit there, and you toss a little treat there. And, and his don't come. But then you walk in, and but you leave the treat there, and you leave. The animal will eat that treat. The next day, he going to be out there somewhere around the property like, and they're like, nah, I ain't coming yet. It's all still a treat. Still don't come. But you leave in, he go get that treat. If you keep doing that little by little, that motherfucker's gonna come closer and closer to the door. Right, and right. next thing you know, that motherfucker will be eating out of your hand. Yeah. I see Edomites do it. I used to you do know, it up north. I, I, you remember the picture? I don't about this. I don't about yeah, yeah, Go ahead. No, no, no. The, the picture that you had, you had a bunch of pictures. This is before the phone. This has been old days. with only the camera. Yeah. yeah. I went. To, this is how serious the shit was. I, this is before iPhones, before cell phones, before any phones even did. No, that was before cell phones. So it was no such thing to have a cell phone and you'll be watching mail. I would go get a camera, I had a camera. All right? And I would go, I went to school up north. I went to school up north. Because he was like, hey, tell him, tell him. Yeah, it's over no <laughs> So yeah, we didn't even have no, we had beepers back then. <laughs> and, and this is before beepers, right? Hey, but no, it was, it was, it was cold because it was like, he would take a picture. You know, in the first picture of uh, him uh, holding like whatever nuts or whatever in his hand, and then the, uh, the 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 squirrel in the background, you know, back there. Yeah, way by the and, and, and it would be like, you know, the squirrel was like, but then he, or whatever, 
and then he got a picture of the squirrel like being interesting. Then, exactly. Then he got another picture of them coming a little closer. <laughs> then another picture of him coming a little closer. <laughs> then finally, so many pictures, then he got the picture of him eating right out of his Not hand. Not only you know eating out of his saying? hand, but his claw on my hand yep. as he's go grabbing the yep. other one, the bam. Yep. And that was a collection of over uh, a, a weeks. That was not one day thing. It was um, I I would go there after I, I went to school. Oh, see, I didn't know that. I that's why that's the same day. That, 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 <laughs> well, no, no, no. It might have been the same day of that set. Right. But the, 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 um, it, it took a minute for me him to even do that. So I would go there on, 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 on periodically, okay, okay, okay. and it would fuck with me. But he eventually I would throw some, and then they would, you know, they would start to trust. The more I would be there, they started recognizing. So the day you got that set could have been over time. No, no, that was probably all one day. Right, that's what I'm saying. But, that's what I'm saying. But for him to get to trust me to do that, that was, over was over time. Right. And that was the point. I was. It yeah. wasn't like I just walked in one day and said, "Hey, let me go get my camera." Hey, okay. take okay. up right. by the yeah. film. Right. It was like it was a setup. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And for me to have a camera was we had to go take the film, get it, go to Walgreens, right. and get it processed and yeah. pay for that shit. Yeah. And I'm in high school, so I wasn't even making no money like that. Yeah. That was that's because I have a passion for animals. I don't know. It's just a spirit. Yeah. But that's how. Esau gets you, and that's how the Lord gets you too. Yeah. Right? It's just the Lord will show you. Matter of fact, we will wisdom. Yes, yeah, right, right, right. You know, wisdom just said, oh, somebody get gonna, real quick. Right. She ain't gonna show you the, you know what I'm saying, the titty right off back. She may show you a little back. You know what I'm saying? A little leg. You know, a little ankle. You that's know right. what I'm saying? Hey, you have a show uh, Moses in the park. He said, I don't know how Moses died. Don't look. I'll show you my gloriousness right here. Can I say this elder speaking of you know I'm, I, I'm the numbers guy you know me I, I dream numbers Moses uh, uh, released our people or helped uh, liberate our people at the 430 year mark 1619 the first Hebrew ship 403 years ago that's seven that's seven the uh, mark is coming 1213 that's 25 12, 13, 25, that's 7. We're leading to 2023. 23 and 2, 25, there's number 7 again. All these sevens leading into the seventh seal being broken. It's not by accident. It's not by accident. The spirit will lead you through uh, all of this to take you where you need to be. The numbers uh, don't lie, women and men do. And, you know, I, I wasn't really, I was kind of torn, but I heard the tailwind, uh, what you were saying. The most high sets patterns, man. And right. you recognize the pattern, and, and, yes, and sir. If you, don't, if you don't see and hear the call of the Lord, you're, you're, you are rejected in death. Yes. Most I said, most I said, once, eat twice, but man, we see the times. If you really go through yourself in the spirit of heaven's father, and you're actually going to him, you're throwing yourself at his feet. He's going to show you. Reveal things, yes, sir. He's, yes, he's, he's, he's going to bring you in. He's going to show you. Yes. You got it? Yeah, yeah. This is Sirach, chapter 4, and um, verse 15, and it reads, Whoso giveth ear unto her that uh, well, uh, but her is uh, wisdom, like the elders talking about. Yep. Whoso giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations. Woo! Whoso ever give ear unto wisdom. Now we're talking about the wisdom, the pure wisdom from above. All right, that the book of James talked about. All right, that comes from the mind of the Most High God, the Creator. All right, the His pure wisdom. All right, it says. This is the wisdom we're talking about now. So go ahead. And it says, um, 15 again. Whoso giveth ear unto her, who give ear unto the wisdom of the Most High God, shall judge the nations. Shall judge the nations. All right. His word and giving heed to it. All right. And performing his word, it exalts you. It promotes you to be in royalty. That's right. It promotes you to being a ruler. Okay, go ahead. And it says, And he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. And he that attendeth unto the Most High's wisdom shall dwell securely. No one ever will be able to mess with you, come against you. All right, if you attend to the Most High wisdom, like when you used to go to school and they used to call your name and you do attendance, they call your name here, present, right? So when wisdom is around, present, I want to be there. Right. Present, the wisdom of the Most High God. We got to attend to that. Keep going. Verse 16. If a man commit himself unto her, 
he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. Woo! And his generation shall hold wisdom in possession. If you commit yourself to the wisdom of the Most High God, man, we have to commit ourselves. Hey, I, I'm all in. You know, forgetting holding one chip back. You know what I'm saying? And like I'm, I'm about committing to something else. No, we got to commit to the Most High's wisdom and what He say righteousness is, and His right. plan, and His order, and His structure. Just to say you're going to. Don't mean the Lord going to just go say, okay. <laughs> He said, may your head suddenly or no man. Right, right. so he's going to test you. He to right. see if you was his friend. He called Abraham his friend. See, but he tested Abraham. He sent them through trials to see if he could trust them. All right? And so the same thing with us. With wisdom is going to try you with her laws. All right, go ahead. But real quick, but first yep. that's on his Bible, like 15 and 1. Prove all things yeah. and hold fast that which is good. good. That's it. Go ahead, brother. Sirach chapter 4 and 17. For at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways. So at the first, she, wisdom, will walk with him, all right, the one who's trying to attain her, all right, gonna walk with him through what? Crooked ways. Crooked ways. That's wicked. That's wicked. See, that it would appear to be going on. It would appear to be mean. It would appear to be harsh. Yeah. Anything that's crooked ain't straight. Right. So that will be, if you try to walk up a crooked road, it's, it's, it's going to be with tough. much difficulty. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be trials, tribulations, temptations, afflictions, persecutions, demonizations. Mm -hmm. You know, all these things. That's right. All right. But here it is. Are you going to put that off you? Because that's what wisdom going to try you to see, wait a minute, is, is he still going to keep his integrity? Is he still going to be held up by the time all this pressure is applied? See, pressure is going to be applied to you. That's right. See, some get offended at the, the pressure. That's why the Lord said, blessed are those who's not offended in me. That's right. Because before we glorify, we're going to have to suffer together. You, Offenses must come, all right? But woe unto them who do the offense come, man. All right? So here it is. Are you going to be offended at the straight gate? Are you going to be offended at the crooked ways that you won't have to uh, uh, be tested by? Are you going to get offended at you uh, 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 suffering wrongfully? Are you going to be offended by you having to make your body a living sacrifice? And not being conformed to this world and being at the bottom? Are you going to be offended at uh, 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 having to go through persecutions? All right, well, all for standing up for righteousness sake. Esau teaches the cushy road. Esau gives you the broad path. Uh, like Oprah said before, there's many ways to get to Jesus Christ. Right. And, 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 and you know what? She didn't she, lie. She, she was right. telling yeah, you the truth. Because right. the name of the Heavenly Father is not Jesus. Yeah. The name of the Son is not Jesus. It's Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, the Son. That's right. All right? And through Esau's way, oh, you got a billion ways to survive in Esau's world or come up in Esau's world. All right? But to come through the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the truth, there's only one way. One way. He said it, man, that John, uh, St. John 10. Yep. All right, but let's go. And it says here, in uh, back in Sirach 4, 17, For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways, uh -huh. and bring fear and dread upon him, and torment him with her discipline. See, and torment him with her discipline. See, here it is. We're trapped in this these chains of darkness, where this flesh that we're trapped in, they want to do everything contrary to the righteousness of the Most High God. They want to do everything contrary to the uh, 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 wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High God. They want to do everything of this world. They want to establish its own righteousness. You see what I'm saying? They want to be comfortable and do what they want to do. They want to be fed all the time. You know what I'm saying? This flesh want to be fed, but guess what? We have to deny this flesh. That's right. All right, to the best of our ability. All right, here, you know, of course we needed uh, essentials, 
and then even sometimes the Lord allow us of a bone of comfort in whatever that it may be. I always talk about the, the big, fat, juicy cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or whatever your big, fat, fat, juicy cheeseburger is. But it says, let all things uh, 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 you know, be done in balance, man. Be tem it says, be temperate in all things. Psalms 144. Incline not my heart to any evil thing to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. You see, mm. we don't want of their dainties. We don't care about it, man. All right, it, it, it says, when you get this wisdom, you shall be quickly without yeah. care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't care about this world. When your fa uh, favorite restaurant closed down, ah, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. You know, you know that it's coming, all right? When all this is taken away from you, you know what I'm saying? Ah, fuck it. When you can't go outside and go do this or do that no more, oh, so the Lord said it was gonna happen. But uh, uh, the, the, the dainties, uh, delicacy. You that's know it. what I'm saying? Right. And that's it. Right. That's that voluptuousness. Exactly, man. Yeah. You know, we'll wait, man. We'll wait on the Lord to do it in proper balance. Sure. All right, do it in complete health and complete power. All right, do it the right way. Fall out the right way. What you got? A little fast one. This is Sarai 37 and uh, 29. Be not insatiable in any dainty thing. Ooh, see, no, be not insatiable. See, Esau Edom is insatiable, and he teaches you to be insatiable, man. It's like uh, a glutton, whatever. It's like they are, they, they, they are uh, animation on uh, a man. The guy, he just kept going and going and going and going. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, there's just everything, all out of balance, man. You know, until he fucks up everything and everything is destroyed and paradise is turned into a living hell. It's beautiful. At the end of that, they even show you hey, they had the UFO come, sat his ass, man. Exactly. Because that's, that's the only way out of it. That's it's it. the Lord. That's it. We don't have power. Uh, and it's like, oh, we need to, we can just get together. The black folks got together. Nope. And we just we'll pull all our money and we nope. break that generational curse. Nope. Man, Niggas, you but niggas been trying to do that since Marcus Garvey, nigga. Hey, but they don't understand that it's the most high God who gave wickedness power. That's right. And he gave them a time limit. Yep. All right? He gave sure. wickedness a bounds that he cannot pass. But like I always say, he's going to reach that bounds. And here it is. You can't get the Black Panther Party. You can't get Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther the King. <laughs> Malcolm X, you, you can't get the Black Lives Matter movement, you can't get no uh, a militia together, you know what I'm saying, to, to, you know, come from out of the situation that the most high put you in. Right. You can't come over the one that he's blessed with the power of deception, with the power of the sword. You and can't, you the, ain't about to beat that. And the current rulership of this world today, this is his heaven. The Lord said he's the prince of the air. That's, That's what the Lord has given him right now. Right now, before the Lord sets up his righteous everlasting kingdom, right now Esau is the king of the earth. It is nothing you can do about it. And watch out. Nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing because it's the most high. Yes. Right. Whose will is being done and right. wickedness gets his time. Right. It's just that when wickedness gets his time, make your body a living sacrifice. Man, right. think, Wait on the Lord. Man, you go look in the scriptures, man, the time around Jeremiah when the Babylonian Empire was set. Don't you think, and it's in the scripture, that he, Jake was trying to resist the uh, of, of the Babylonian Empire? And what the Lord said, nigga, if you don't put your necks under the yoke of these Babylonians, I'm going oh, to yeah. force you to put yeah. your necks under the yoke of these Babylonians. And guess what happened? We put our necks under the yoke <laughs> of the Babylonians. Right. Hey, to real, the point that we was real. like, uh, pray for the king of Babylon so he can treat us. Right, you know, they went to the Lord to entreat for the, uh, 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 bless the king for he will treat them better. Right. I got a quick point. Uh, Romans 13 and 1. It says, let every soul be subject to the higher power, for there is no power but of God. <laughs> so if Esau is over you, yeah. guess who put him over you? Yep. The most I said, this is my sword. The Lord called him the sword. Hey, and you have to render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. What is Caesar's? <laughs> right. You have That's to right. render unto the wicked That's what right. is the wicked. The most I gave it to him. Yes, sir. So we just have to wait on the Lord. 
All right, this is the straight gate that we have to go through, That's man. Right. What you got, brother? This is Job 12 and 24 and 25, and it reads, He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people on the earth and causes them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. They grow in the dark without light, and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. Man, listen, man, people don't know what's going on. Here it is, it's light. You staggering like it's nighttime, you know, groping for the light. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, we're giving the light, but people reject the light, man. That's right. See, the most, and again, this is the most highest will because he's establishing something here, all right? He's establishing the governing body of the eternal righteous kingdom right. where he said, uh, 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 our, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Yes. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's right. All right. It's complete order in heaven. That's right. And it's going to be complete order on the earth when it's being ran with the righteousness of the Most High God by his special chosen That's children. Right. Who, he's, who he's perfecting right now in this present evil world, man. What you got, brother? Oh, you had some more, or was that it? No, that was this. Go ahead. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now let it will let. You see, and, and it's the most high God that's doing the letting. You know what I'm saying? And it says the mystery of iniquity already worked. The Apostle Paul was saying that back when they were in a, 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 a captivity to the Romans, those particular Edomites who was yep. ruling at that time that we're reading about right now. He said, hey, the mystery of iniquity don't already work. They in power. <laughs> yep. Hey, hey it, it was a mystery. But now, guess what? It's being revealed. All right? But he was saying it already worked right now. Revelation. All right? You know? It was working. They was in power. The wicked was in power. Already was happening. Yep. Go ahead. And he says, only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Until he be taken out of the way. And it's the most high God who's gonna take him out of the way. That's Not right. no militia uh, that we come up with. And that, that's a real Edomite mentality. So they, and these niggas think they super heavy and they super black when they do this Marcus Garvey and all that shit, Malcolm X and the Black Panther shit. But what's the, that's the same thing that Esau trying to do now and so-called get his birthright back. The Lord ordained something that was gonna have to happen and Esau is trying to figure out a way around that. Yep. That's the same thing that the Black Panther niggas do. Exactly. Man. They trying to figure a way around it. That's why he's saying, man, if you try to go up some other way, then you a thief and a robber. All right, you have to go the way the Lord said go. Because again, he's running this thing. Jack, you finished this Romans 13. Romans 13 and 1. It says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. There we go. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. You see? If you trying to take Esau down before it's time, you gonna look like the damn fool and get jacked up. You try to force the hand of the Lord. Yep, you hey, you hey, Now while we beg the Lord to hasten that day, the scripture says you can't haste above your maker, man. And, and uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, basically pull the hand of the Most High God to do something. Like Judas did. So, Elder, you mean the not fucking around coalition militia's not going to help us? Not one single bit, <laughs> sir. Well, he, got you know he got charges put on him. His own, his own philosophy didn't help him. Didn't help. So they wasn't fucking around, huh? Yeah, they wasn't fucking around either. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. So, hey, the Lord ain't fucking around. That's right. And, and his will ain't fucking around. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. It happens every day. Yes, sir. Revelation 12 and 12 says uh, the devil Step goes about uh, knowing that he had to uh, <laughs> seek and basically to destroy you because he know he got a short time. That's he's, right. He's, he's the king right now and not fucking around on here on the earth. That's but right. But there's a greater not fucking around. That's right. That's right. That's right. And his will ultimately will be done. But you're not reading his plan. If you was reading his plan, if you was being cognizant of the scriptures, if you was reading and listening to the, the holy men of the Lord, you would know what times you're living in. The Lord said, right. you look at the you look at the sky and say, oh, the sky is red, glory. Uh, we ain't place off of uh, the Miranda. 
But then you can't go ahead and ascertain the times we're living in, and we're right in the middle of this shit? Yeah, because you don't want to know. Right, because you're about this present evil world. Right. And you can't comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in the time to come. All right, you can't comprehend a righteous kingdom being ruled by the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because your mind too clouded with the dainties of this world. That's right. Your mind too clouded with the portion of Esau, Edom, the wicked. So you're going to get a portion of his judgment too. That's right. All right? You don't, you don't know what time it is. You see, the scripture says uh, uh, it is high time to awake out of sleep for our salvation is nearer than you believe. And if our salvation is nearer than you believe, then the destruction of this place is nearer than you believe. That's right. All right? And if the destruction is, uh, uh, of this place is nearer than you believe, then you best believe that the wicked who's ruling right now, they're going to be vying to keep their uh, 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 top spot. Yep. All right? They're going to be scrambling to, to make sure that they stay in power. So they're going to come down on you with great wrath, Woo. knowing that he has but a short time. Right. Because he's seeing his lies being exposed. All right? He's seeing his skirt being pulled up oh, oh. and his shame being spewed. Uh -huh. He see it. All the millions and billions and trillions of dollars that he just spent to keep the lie alive. Like Tommy said, hey, hey, they said keep the lie alive. <laughs> they want to keep the lie alive. <laughs> hey, but like the apostle uh, 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 Ramlam always say, hey, that buoy of truth Oh, you sunk it all the way to the bottom. But that motherfucker boy is breaking through every concrete lie, every motherfucking... And you're, huh? and you're, and you're just making me look at the, a buoy right here. Yeah. The, why is this concrete we're standing on? That's it. Did, 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 did not, when they laid this, was there any vegetation? It was flush. Did it, was it flush? Was uh -huh. any vegetation right. going out of the concrete? Hey, why is that vegetation growing up underneath this rock? It's spewing out. Because you cannot resist. Now, is this rock way heavier than that vegetation? Oh, yeah. yeah. Then they had it all sealed. It yeah. did. Oh, they thought they did. They, they thought, thought they did. Right. And so Esau think they do, and the wicked think they do, uh -huh. and, and the niggas who refuse to humble down to the most high think they do. Man, the truth gonna spring up, Jack. Hey, that was a good analogy right there. Right. You, yeah. the spirit, you started. Yeah. But he called himself rebuilding the infrastructure, yeah. Elder. See, but, hey, but it says that how it's going to be the worms, man. Woo. He said, hey, how you falling from heaven, old Lucifer? All right? How you falling from your uh, 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 a state that you was in of heaven, of ruling? Your last chance. All right? You, you, because you you rule with a, 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 a ingredients to have a downfall. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And again, that buoy of truth is coming to the top, man. All right? And those that's of this world, they can't understand the truth. They, 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 they don't want the truth because they're about this place, man. So again, the wicked, their ultimate agenda is to, you know, buy to keep the top spot and ultimately play God and uh, 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 present, all right, this Dorito chip to you. That's right. All right. That micro Dorito chip. Yeah. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? And here it is, they're gonna present it as it's something good for you. They're gonna do it like the devil does. Real and slick and sly and subtle and nice and put a suit and tie on, give you some ice cream. Mm -hmm. as, as, as he is making everything so hard around you to put the, promoting the, uh, the scarcity and then giving you the solution. Oh man, you see that? That's what a thing is called, Odo Ab Kao. All right, order out of chaos. But here it is, they engineer the uh, the chaos. And then they see the the, uh, 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 the chaos going on. I got a solution. That's then they right, come with right. the solution. And then, by, so hard. By, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, and the solution that they come with is demonic. But, but, anything sound good because of the chaos that's going on. The unrest that's going on. All right, that you, the, 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 the riots and the sedition that's going on, the scarcity of your essentials that's going on, the famines of the food and the famines of the word that's going on. That's right. That stomach growling going on. You see what I'm saying? And it's all manner of things that's going on that's totally abnormal. 
All right, and so here it is. Any type of normalcy, you'll take the solution. I mean, they did it the two years ago at the onset of the whole slam demic, and they gonna bring that back too. But now it's like, oh yeah, this is the solution. Do this. Yep. This is the solution. Yeah. And people stick that they didn't help anything. And then this is the solution. Ah oh, shit. This is the solution. God damn it. You know, three more. But, but it didn't help though. Oh, hey, right. <laughs> hey, you know what? We'll just come get the booze. No, no, no. And now, now, now Dr. Frog. Come get some old juice. Hey, Dr. Well, Frog just said. Another, they came out with another version of, so you got to get an update now. Yeah. Right, no, no, Dr. Frog just came out the other day. And he said, uh, Dr. Frog said, uh, 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 he said that no, no, they, man, they're suggesting, which all of their suggestions the government did before. Then. So I, I perceive that they probably will do so again. Uh, he said that everything is going to be period. From now on, every six months, you need to get a, a, a boost mobile shot. Wow. You need, you need, you need a, 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 another boost mobile. Where you at? Right? <laughs> way, way. <laughs> and, 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 and ultimately, if you don't do it, they're going to do the same thing as communicate your ass out of their system. Well, we can go back to, uh, uh, you know, where it is in the scriptures, all right, about the agenda of the wicked, man. You must understand and know this. All right? Go ahead, brother. This is uh, that Revelation 13 again? Yeah. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all. So, and he, all right, who? The wicked, all right? The banking elite, those that's behind the shadows, but not too much more longer because they're being exposed. Right. All right, but go ahead. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. You see? And that is a physical thing that they're going to come up with. That's all, I mean, they already came up with it. All right, but the thing is, is they're just waiting on that right time and those, those right other little things that they put into place and then, you know, the other one or whatever false flag or whatever it is that they do to cause the chaos to ultimately get to this right here. All right? Yeah, if I may say, yeah. the dude, man, it was a video of a dude that made this see him do something like, uh, like a bigger Edomite with a beard or whatever. He made a, a video, he was like, made the him or whatever, but after he made it, he went into the scriptures and he realized that he made Revelation 13, the, 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 he admitted it, and that's the guy that made it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And, and he turned to a Christian, so like, right. See, but, but this is what the, 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 these global elites, they use people, all right, for their ultimate agenda, man. And again, ultimately it's the most highest will that's being done because it says as the rivers of water all right the most high turns the minds of the kings of the rulers to land back up what you said the, uh, the the founders of the nuclear missiles said the same thing they said now now i become the uh um, the harbinger of death i become the killer you know basically destroy the destroy the destroy the and, and, but it's too late. It's already a done deal. It's made. As a matter of fact, and it's again now with the most high doing that. It says that he is blowing the smith. Alright? He maketh the smith that bloweth the coals and throw out the coal. Right, 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 right. And this is prophecy. That's right. Right? This is the word uh this is um, Isaiah 4 16. Behold, I have created the smith. You see, I have created the smith, the most high have created and, and put it in the mind of these scientists to, you know, make these ICBMs and, and, and uh, uh, all these destroying weapons that's going to ultimately be a part of the destruction of this place. That's right. And blow up the coals in the fire. You see? And if you know anything about blowing coals, the more you put air on a coal, the hotter and brighter it's going to go. Right? And that bring it forth an instrument for his work. Well, for, for his work, man. This is the most high's work, man. He is the one that's orchestrating this ultimately, man. Go ahead. I have created the waster to destroy. You see, he have created the waster to destroy, man. This is gonna be a just part of this destruction because in that Zephaniah uh, uh, two and eight, or is it three and eight? Yeah, I believe it's Zephaniah three and eight, it says, 
For this is the determination of the Most High God that he gather the nations, that he may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them his indignation and all his fierce wrath. It says, for the earth shall be devoured in the fire of my jealousy, man. God. And part of the way that that fire is going to be produced is the, the, the waster, all right? These ICBM missiles, man. Right. They're not just sitting up there for fun, and all right? They're going to... No, they ain't going to no museum. They're going to be used, man. And the Spirit of the Lord is going to be in them. And they're going to hit the target that the Lord wants. They're not going to miss. They're not going to miss, man. They can zoop, 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 bam, right on this mark where the most I wanted to hit alone. What the angels are coming back with, man. That's right. It's going to be spectacular. Or they will not break their ranges. They will not yep. break their ranks, man. They are coming and they're coming to handle the business of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And that nuclear, uh, the nuclear fire ain't shit on the chariot fire. That's Ooh. right. Ooh. Hey, hey, we read it last night, Avery. He said, man, Avery was cracking up, man. He, and the way he was reading it, too. He was reading like a movie or uh, like a movie. With, that, with, with dust and the smell of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing was to be perceived. You know what I'm saying? I don't and, think he did that great. Deal. No, man, he was he did it pretty good. I have to give it up. I'm about to give you the Oscar right now. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I would like to thank Avery for the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but that's because the brothers was growing, learning and learning and growing and you can't help but do it like possible for us say. You gotta embody and picture these scriptures and, and picture these words. That's right. You gotta paint a picture and see it. That's right. Then you can understand. You can actually start to put yourself into a scenario and then and understand more. Yep. And see these things, man. Just like Edris. All right. He saw that vision. And what do you? Hey, hey, Avery. What do he say? And when I saw this vision, I was afraid. Good, good, good. Yeah, man. Because, hey, and, and that's why the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. That's right. Hey, hey, uh, 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 the, the, the apostles, he said, man, they say uh, it, it, is, uh, it, it is better to o obey God rather than men. So when men come telling you this uh, revelation 13 and 16, all right, is in effect, and you can't do this and that if you don't take it, all right, are you going to be worried about that? and what men can do to you, or you gonna be worried about what the most high can do to you. Because if you accept this, then there's a consequence right there in Revelation 14, and uh, what's that, nine? Uh, Revelation 14, I'm gonna start at seven though. Go ahead, brother. Revelation 14 and seven, saying with a loud voice, fear the most high, Yahweh Shemel Shai, and give, give glory to him. So don't fear man, all right, and give glory to man, and he come up with this solution, all right, to say, hey, I have the solution now to all this chaos. Here is this uh, 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 grain of rice here that you got to put inside you. All right, wherever, but yeah, with your hand, your forehead, your butt cheek, your, 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 your stump, that you, got, you know what I'm saying? Wherever, you know what I'm saying? If you accept that, the Most High say he got something for you. So you gonna be afraid of man, or you gonna be afraid of the Most High God? Woo. Go ahead. For the hour of his judgment is come. Uh huh. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of water. And there, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen and is fallen. And this is the, this is what it's talking about, America. All right, a Babylon. This is the Babylon right. that is talking about right here that we're reading, right here. That's called America. That's right. The great old U.S. of A. <laughs> Babylon. Go ahead. That great city. Uh huh. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. You see, she made all nations drink of her lies and democracies and philosophies. All right. All her wickedness. All her pipe dreams. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Verse. Um, verse nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast uh -huh. and his image, uh -huh. and receive his mark, and receive that thing, go ahead, in his forehead or in his head, wherever you receive it, the <laughs> same shall drink of the wine of the breath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture 
into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, Woo! and in the presence of the holy angels, Woo! and in the presence of the Lamb, Woo! and the smoke of their torment ascending up forever and ever, oh! and they have no rest day nor night, oh! who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Oh, you hear that? It says, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's like an entrance, man. He said, hey, you shall dwell in torments, man. That's right. So who are you afraid of? Where do your fear lie? The fear of the Lord drafting their sins, man. But you people ain't afraid, you people ain't afraid of the Lord, man. They would really, if you had any, if you knew anything, you would know to be afraid, to be very afraid. Hey, like that's smart. That's smart. smart. That's, that's the beginning yeah. of wisdom. Yeah. To fear the Lord and know that there is a consequence if yeah. you do the opposite of what He say yeah. do and don't. That's right. The, the scriptures also say that the issues of death is with the Lord, man. Yes, sir. So you got to understand that a nickname of the, of the heavenly Father yeah. is the King of Terrors, yeah. man. Yep. Yeah. You know, the scripture say, uh, "What's that Proverbs one? When your fears fall upon you like a desolating whirlwind, man, man. man. that means you're gonna be consumed." Soon in fear, oh, right? Oh. And so your worst fears, you know, you got people that are afraid of clowns. You get they, they got clown games out here. You got people, <laughs> you got people that are afraid of spiders. Hey, look, it's it's uh uh, uh you think you're gonna run to the woods and you gonna see some shit in that woods is gonna fuck you up? Yeah, eight man. foot you spider. Gonna run, you gonna be trying to run the fuck about the woods? Hey, really, that's why <laughs> the most high is gonna <laughs> get you what, what you fear the most, man. Right, right, kind of. All right, Indeed. man, it, it's not gonna be nothing pretty, man. That's why the brother said, man, it's a wise thing to fear the Lord. Forget fearing man and what he say he gonna do if you don't obey him. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then you you look at uh look at what the Lord did with Egypt. I right, the scriptures say that the things that was written before time was written for our learning. I right, look at the Lord uh, the Lord raised up uh, uh raised up uh Pharaoh just to flex. That's right. Just to show us power. All right, just to flex. All right? That's the only reason he did it to make his name known throughout the earth, man. Right. All right? And one, one of the things that he did, I was the darkness you could feel. I the scriptures go into about how they were seeing monstrous apparitions. I so so it's already dark as hell. It's dark than a motherfucker. And then the little shit you do, the something you do see is a fucking monster. <laughs> I it say it say that they were dying because of the, the sounds that they was hearing. Say, just imagine the sounds. The right? sounds that they shit. was hearing. Hey, well, shit. What about the darkness that they feel? Huh? That's a, how do you feel darkness? Shit. You, don't want, you don't want to find it out. You don't want to. You don't, I, look. No. Uh, you want some of this, old man? man? No. 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 <laughs> I don't want no parts of that, man. That's you know. It. And you look. You look at. Uh, you, you look at different movies like The Exorcism of Emily Rose. All right, these movies are based on true stories. All right, you look at movies like uh, the, the Fourth Kind. All right, where, where the Lord actually commissioned uh, some, some some angels to fuck them people up over there, man. All right, where they was literally fucking with people, man. That's it. That's it. All right, hey, what the scripture talk about by sending evil angels among them? Hey. Like the Lord, the Lord is the real hit man, Joe. That's right. Hey, that's why it says through the fear of the Lord we, we persuade men. All right. And, but, hey, but we understand that only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to hear this message, grab hold to it, apply it to the best of their ability, and endure to the end. That's right. Forsake this present <laughs> evil world. All right, have no cares for this present evil world. So when everything starts happening, even more and more and more things are taken away, more things are stopped, more things you, you're not going to be able to do so-called normal things that you get up and do all that is about to be stopped see but we ha we have to embrace that all right because here it is the, the kingdom that's filled with righteousness and all good things by us, the righteous people in perfection all right it cannot come until this place is destroyed that's right it cannot come until Esau Edom the wicked the self-proclaimed white man reaches its height of wickedness 
and Reach is almost about to fill his belly with his ultimate agenda of playing God on the earth in wickedness. Which is which is going back into the chip with the, the hey, because the shit that they finna do with these damn uh with this damn technology and this transhumanism shit, it is it's gonna look like God like shit. Yes, right. right? It's gonna look like God like shit. But, yeah. it, but in the movie Transformers, the dude said something. He said technology is indistinguishable from witchcraft. Because Esau, the technology is witchcraft. Yep, you're right. His technology is witchcraft. That's yep. why he said it's indistinguishable. Yep. Right? So so to be able to to take your arm and they put a chip in your head. Now the Lord did severed your shit. Your nerves is gone. He put a look, put this chip. This chip is gonna reconnect the nerves back in your arm to where you're gonna be able to feel your arm again, move your arm, and all that's gonna reconnect. Well, That's a miracle. That would right. be considered a, a fucking miracle. Well, you see what happened with the the ancient Chaldeans. See, these are the uh, Esau and Edom are the modern day Chaldeans. All right, on that left hand side, using that witchcraft. So, in the ancient times, you had those Hamites, you know, of, of the ancient Chaldeans. And what did they do? They wind up making their staff into a snake. That was power on the left hand side through witchcraft. See, but what did uh, uh, Moses' snake uh, uh, staff do? Turned into a snake through spiritual power on the right hand side, and and then and that was through the Lord, you know. And what did his snake devour? That uh, uh, witchcraft it, snake. It, all they snakes. You see what I'm saying? One snake ain't all they shit. Up. See, but the point. <laughs> hey, but the point is. is that they do have that power like the brother is going into. Boy, they did, okay. And then they said, surely this is the hand of the Most High. Man, you see, see they said they're they gonna find that out. It's the hand of God, we, shit, we can't fight this. That's it. All right, right, because after a while, it was like, well shit, they were able to do certain other plans. Some of the then they got to a certain one, it was like, well shit, can't do that, man. Uh, what the hell going on here? Yeah, this you know shit is different. Hey, yeah, look, this, you need to shit. tell Moses, this let this go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see what's going on in hey, Egypt right now? Hey, what you doing? <laughs> Messing with those <laughs> good people. <laughs> <laughs> good people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> let them people go. Right. Shit. Man, it, they I don't know why y'all come down here messing with these good people. It's funky as hell. It's stink. A frog stink. Oh, my God. You got to think. Thousands and thousands of frogs uh, paid the fucking frog oh, that noise. That shit, ooh, noise too, the noise of the, the irritate. Oh, oh my god! They, they just all day feeding oh, the locusts. Oh, oh, you, 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 you got, you got bugs in your mouth and your head. Oh, Come on, man, that shit. Can't get no water. Can't get right. no water. It's, it's blood. Right. You like, goddamn, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. That's shit. What you got, brother? Revelation, thirteen and fourteen. And it deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Hey, with those, those miracles, man. Hey, look, and that's just that's just a little bit. I seen another video where a dude had a a, 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 a robotic prosthetic, and they rubbed his, the rub the robot shit, and he felt it. Hey, the man. robot hand, the fake hand, the artificial hand. The nigga rubbed the fucking hand. He rubbed it. He said, I can feel it. I can feel it. Check this out. These niggas, they, 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 they it's not gonna take a nigga to have no arm to do this shit, bro. These niggas been thinking about doing it. Motherfuckers gonna cut their regular arm. They gonna cut it off just to, to do it. Arm. Arm. But it's say crazy. fuck having to go to war that happened. Or well, say, you know, take it. These niggas just take it. Take but it, this shit. But Elder, if you old enough, you remember the $6 million man. Everybody wanted a bionic arm back then. I want the legs too, so I can move. Come on, man. I, I can see. I mean, come on, man. Real quick, that's a whole anime show. It's called Full Metal Alchemist, man. And Alchemy deals with all that witchcraft and all that, man. You know? So they've been having this in the mind for a long time. Yeah, I think what, 90s, 2000s? Yeah, it came out of the 2000s. It's like a 2000s. You know? That nigga jacks off Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's old as hell. Yeah. You know, Mortal Kombat go back to the 80s, early 80s. You know, Cyborg, you know what I'm saying? You had a. You know what I'm saying? So here it is. Here it is. Esau been trying to integrate because they understand. They understand that we, we ain't nothing but biomechanics. 
they already know that we biomechanical machinery, man. That in our spirit just come from the Father. The, the Father put us down here, but our bodies are machines, man. Right. All right? So they understand that it, uh, electrical impulses go through our body, so they're like, well, if we can send that out, we got to find a way to connect the brain signals That's to right. a machine. That's right. All right? And they say, they also say they know they know it's a, it's a, it's a God because when we think, they say it goes out in airwaves. All right, and they able to pick it up, and they say that's how they able to uh, to uh, uh, control different. Uh, like they had a fucking plant meat for no shit with his brain. They say that's how they able to do that. But they say who the signals going to? All right, if, if somebody got a controller, like you got a remote control car, somebody got the controller in their hand, man. The signals going somewhere, which is going back to the most high. To show you that the Lord controls everything, man. But Esau, him being the devil, the devil that he is. And they still going, like, like, the motherfuckers going, man, I don't care about my legs. Take my legs. I want to jump high. I want to run yeah, fast. We can already, it, it was crazy. Esau doing that because, hey, what's the scripture? Get the scripture of uh, if one people shall be stronger than the other. All right, because really, we, we, they doing that because when they get to, when, look at what we doing. Esau can't do what we do. That's right. You know? This Genesis chapter 25 and 23. It says, and Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, right. and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elders shall serve the younger. Right. But Jake don't need, Jake don't need metal arms. We already strong as hell. Jake don't need metal legs. I, our legs work just fine. Hey, look, you go in these factories, these Edomites be having hip replacements at 40 years old. I, uh, knee replacements at 45. Right, they be all fucked up, man. Hey, but Jake is still running, still got muscles, still out here. Hey, uh, Esau rod don't be working. I, right, hey, hey, this for real. Esau need. Esau feel like he need this, man. All right, you know. But hey, look, but but just think of the power that the Lord is gonna give His men. I, right, we already stronger than this physically. All right. And think of when the Lord gives us those powers, man. Right. Hey, Esau want that transhumanism shit. Hey, look, I ain't trying to give up my rod. I ain't trying to give up my legs. I, I, I like my shit. I, but Esau, he'll give up the whole feeling of, I uh, like the, the scripture say, the body to terrestrial have a glory, and the body, the body's uh, the celestial have a glory. Hey, hey, one of the one of the glories that the terrestrial body has is sex, man. This dude ready to get rid of all of that shit. All right? His way of living forever is, is turning himself into a goddamn machine. So remember, when he turns his back on you, you did it first. Right. You, you brought and, it on and yourself. that's the whole thing about the chip. All right? You take the chip, you're basically saying Esau is your God, man. That's right. It's Isaiah chapter 29 and 16. It says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, for shall the work say of him that made it, made he not, or shall the thing framed of him say, it's like the old thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. Hey, he saw he's, 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 he's doing the most unnatural things. That's right, that's right, that's right. Hey, he's changing as the first mentioned, the glory of the terrestrial, the glory of the celestial. He's trying to do shit that's not even heard of, man. He's trying to undo the creation. Right, he trying to he trying to make some whole some whole different shit, and then even with this robotic shit, I right, it was a uh, it was a, a lady in the government who mentioned uh, some uh, uh, four robots. They made four robots, right? And the robots when they turned the robots on, the robots killed like 11, 11 uh, scientists. Shit, they killed, they killed eleven scientists in the lab. So they took they 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 destroyed the robots, took them apart. When the fourth robot, one of the robots, 
download some shit to learn how to fix itself. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So so they, they completely pulled the plug on the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So even even like if you would give life to another, it's like, nigga, you the devil. Y'all got to go. Yeah. Y'all got to go. Just like when they turn, like the elder Malcolm will bring this on, or, or, uh, just bring this up all the time. Hey, they, they launched the AI and they searched the internet and they let it learn. And, and it basically came to the conclusion that the white man is the devil. Uh, right. All right. And that's pretty much that. Hey, that's the logical thing. Yes. Yeah, right. Hey, who else destroying the earth? Who who polluting the air? All right, who, who's polluting the air? Who, who's polluting the food? Who said I can make a better apple when it's already enough apple? Who said I can make a better cow when it's already cow? I can make a better chicken when it's already chicken. 3D print. All right, I can, I, can make a, uh, 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 I can make a better arm when we already got arms. Who's doing that? Esau, man. Right. And in the course of him not understanding, he don't understand shit. He's just a badass kid. Fucking with some shit he don't understand. He's destroying the earth in the process of doing it. That's right. Yep. And speaking of kids, Elder, remember the uh, chess game going on with the kid? And he went to make his move, and the robot was like, that was, you know, you jumped the gun, and he grabbed the little boy's finger and broke it. Oh, yeah. Because they were playing that. chess. And the robot's no, no, like, that's my move. That. that was like no, in Russia, right? That was, that was actually real recent. Right. And that showed yeah. me how the AI is full of shit. The AI, they, they, he got mad. The, the robot got program. mad. And and the AI was all it was supposed to do was do chess moves. But when it saw the new cheat, he was like, "Oh shit, you ain't cheating on me!" And and, and go and do what? But they had to say, "Oh!" and get him and he broke his chest. Wow. Okay. That, that, so the AI so if he was to play with AI and technology, it was still gonna take him down in the end. That's good. their whole Terminator system. God. And I believe they came up with that because they've been experimenting with AI for yeah. decades. And, and, and that oh, motherfucker what did, what did, always realized. And, and what did it what, what say? It said, oh, they, they asked AI, how is Earth going to end? He said, oh, it's basically all the white man fault. Yeah. It's going to end in nuclear missiles, yeah. and the aliens yeah. going to come yeah. and fuck them up. And even one of the one of the programs he mentioned, uh, that's what I said so far, he got real deep into it. So every time he gets to think tanks and really make a machine to really go through history, really go AI, it always exposes them. It hurts like <laughs> that's right. Uh, right, that's why I said they, they should be taken with their own devices. Yes, sir. And, 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 with, with, with the scriptures brother just bring out, surely your turn is the things upside down should be esteemed as the potter's clay. So because you may do something that's off, it's still the Lord that's in control at, at, at the end of the day. That's right. Because he allowing you to do it. Yep. Because right, all that witchcraft you got to do, he still got to tell those demons, all right, let it do, give them the power. He still got to commission it, man. Yep. Right. You know, so it's still a Lord, man. But it's gonna be one day they go to that shit and that shit ain't gonna work. Right. Like the scriptures talk about, his witchcraft is gonna fail him in that day, man. Right. You know. Yep. And the fullness of his sufficiency again, he shall be in straits, man. When he's about to fill his belly and get to his ultimate agenda, man. All right. That's when the Lord is gonna come back, man. See, but while he's, you know, establishing you know, what he's ultimately given to do, all right? We, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we have to forsake this present evil world and right. not be conformed with this present evil world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of our minds. That's right, that's and right. Even, and, hey, and if you do that, then guess what? Now you're gonna have to catch slack because you're not about this world no more and people have fall for, the, for their okie doke. They're falling for all their, you know, lies and deception and agendas. You know, they're falling for a uh, 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 majority of our people. See, but the elect is not going to fall for it, man. Right. All right, that's what the scriptures talk about. Um, if, uh, uh, they, uh, if it was possible, they should uh, deceive the very elect. See, but it's not possible, all right, according to thus saith the Lord. Right. Yeah, brother. This second address 2 and 34, it says, And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, speaking of the Israelites, that hear and understand, look for your shepherd, and he shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand, that shall come in the end of the world. That's what you know, shot. Right? Verse 35, be ready to the reward of the kingdom. For so the like I said, what, at the end of the world? At the end of the world. And what world is that? That's Esau's reign. His age, his era. That's when Yahweh Shai is coming back. Okay? Hey, but before Yahweh Shai comes back, all these things have to come to play, you know, place, man. You know, they have to they play out. That's right. Verse 35, be ready to the reward of the kingdom, 
for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. And they the people of heaven. They had scripts say our salvation is nearer than we can ever do. And we see what we can read in Romans 37. It says verse uh, 36, 36, we're at the point. It says, we plead the shadow of this world. Who receive the joyfulness of your glories. I testify my Savior open. See, receive, what it say? It says, plead the shadow of this world. Uh -huh. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. All right, but it says, receive the joyfulness of your glory, right? Somebody give me uh, 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 Romans 8, 16 real quick. Repeat that. So, and and uh, Elder, the arrogance of the Babylon, the uh, lawmakers went over to Taiwan twice. Now they're sending the military over there to do the same training that they did while they were over there. So he hasn't learned his lesson, and that goes with the, uh, the Euphrates River being empty. Mm, you see? And here it is, even uh, uh, Putin was talking about her coming over there. It's all bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, uh, man. He, hey, it's a house divided, man. Esau against Esau. Con. Yeah, here it is. Con. Two, two major countries, Russia and America, which is ran by the same motherfucking people. Not only America, Russia, America, you got the, the, uh, Europe, all Europe, all these motherfuckers are Edomites, man. And all these motherfuckers are divided within a, in each other. Just like, just like uh, 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 when Rome fell, they was all divided. That's right. Uh, what about when uh, Alexander uh, died? Oh, yeah, and all the, 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 the king of the king, the king, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It just, boy, it says, man, then evils multiplied in the earth, and they were fighting one another to have whatever realm and how much they were going to have, and this they were fighting against each other. <laughs> which which proves right. that they're Edomites. That's, That's it. Because right. they talk about on his belly he should go, which is his lustful desires. Yep. He had, which is what to say, he cannot be satisfied, man. Whoa, and, yes. And, and this motherfucker, man, they run the fucking world. That's it. Right. They run every. They don't need money. The elite don't fucking need money. They own everything man but yep. yet they pretty ass still want more they want your ass that's it right so <laughs> so in, in this time you know that the world is giving over to them to you know fight over whatever whatever and you know to make these mandates and you know these unrighteous decrees and these laws and all these things here it is we're the suffering all right we're not trying to flourish with them we're not trying to sell our soul to get a, 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 a portion of that, man. That's right. Gain the whole world and lose your own soul. That's right. Irony. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the hell? You know? Uh, but yeah, let's go to that. This Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. Uh huh. It says, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. The Spirit itself, the truth itself, history itself. Sir. All right. The numbers, man, they add up. You know what I'm saying? Numbers itself <laughs> says that we are the Israelites. So-called Negroes, Latinos, right. and Native Americans, man. Right. It adds up, because it's the truth. But go ahead. Verse 17, and if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach, uh -huh. if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. You see, if we suffer with him, then when he come and he's glorified in the earth, we may be glorified with him. All right? See, but we have to suffer first. All right? We have to accept our lower state first. We have to accept the furnace of adversity first. Because that's what's purifying us. Right. That's what's perfecting us. Okay? So we have to go through all this. Get that what you just read in the second edge. Second Edges chapter 2 and verse 37, it says, uh, oh, oh, receive the gift that is given unto you and be glad. It's like in verse 36. It says, flee the shadow of this world. Uh huh. So flee the shadow of this world. Because this world was given over unto the hand of the wicked, man. That's right. All right. For them to do wickedly and to ultimately breach their wicked bounds, which they can't pass, but they will reach. Exactly. exactly. And so while that's the case, Papa Champagne, yeah. we should exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, they said, hey, during that time, right. let right. none of us go without this part in our voluptuousness. Let, it, it, let no flower plan. of the spring pass us by. Let us, you know, fill ourselves with costly wine. Drown ourselves with rose, rose buds before they, they be withered. And they did that in Rome. They were, their crown was made of, of roses, man. 
That's right. You know what I'm saying? They was they had crowns of, of roses, man. But they, then it was another thing we me and Uriah had looked up about rosebuds or something to that effect that it basically meant that, that, that they're just living voluptuously carefree. They have everything that they want. They living in they living, living in the castles that we built yep. and they modernized the castles that we built. That's right. All right, and now they're living in they living in our shit from the dark ages. That's it. All right. A lot of those uh, uh castles that you see pictures of them, on YouTube, yeah, yeah. 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 they're in Germany, they're in Germany, right. Germany, France, Germany, France, France, all of them. And, and yeah. all, these are old castles, these castles are, 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 are yeah. hundreds yeah. of years yeah. old, but what they did was, they, yeah. what they always yeah. do, yeah. Right? they, uh, yeah. they, yeah. they uh, reverse yeah. engineer yeah. some, so they basically, uh, 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 what you call it, what you guts, renovated it, right? and made yeah. it modern, man. Uh, but yeah. it's, that's all our shit, man. Yep. I, they got all our artifacts, all the old gold, all the shields of King Solomon. Hey, look, you go, you go over there in Israel. I, where, where King David's, uh, where King David's temple was, where his house was at. I, they got a whole, they got it quarantined off. I, and they got the whole road, the whole road down to the Jordan River is covered up. And you got to have special clearance to get in there, man. I, they finding, they finding coins with the Paleo Hebrew on it. I was show. Hey, look. A couple years ago, a couple years ago, it was all on the internet how they found rat tooth combs. They was digging up a site in, in Jerusalem, and they found rat rat tail combs in the dirt in, in Israel. What the fuck an Edomite might need with a fucking rat tail comb? They don't. Hey, well, how would somebody know how to build a, a, a to use a rat tail comb? That's our. That's an Israelite thing. That that's right, use, man. Yep. All right, they found uh, pigs. And rat, and, and, and rat tail combs, man. And, and that's part of the spirit bear witness that we are the children of y'all by Shani Yahweh Shah. That's right. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We, okay, we are, we are those children, man. And this was all our stuff. But, as the scripture says, we were given over into, the hand, into their hands. And so, if we were given over into their hands, all our shit was given over into their hands. Even, even our bones and our bodies, man. I like the scriptures say, you have dug up, you, you, got, you can get it real quick. Uh, the brother know what that said, how you talk about how you remove them, uh, you I got dug it. up. Oh, I got it. Okay. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 1. At that so, time, so a lot of people say, oh, how do you prove that these people live? Nigga, they dug them up, and then they said they never existed. They, yeah. went, to, they went to the sites. <laughs> Because Esau studied the scriptures. They went to the sites. I it, just like Ron Wyatt, he used the scriptures as a as a as a basically a guide point. I and he mapped it out by using the scriptures of what is and what is what. The same thing that Christopher Columbus same did. Thing. And they was like, hey, the book of Edris. The book of Edris. Yes, yes. 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 they be over and, right. you know, so we're gonna fire. get yeah, yep. So we're gonna have to get some Hebrew interpreters. Why? They wouldn't go in the Look for something. They were just navigators. No, they were conquerors, man. They knew that they were gonna. They, yeah, they knew that they were gonna uh, uh, run into some Israelites who were speaking Hebrew. So they had Hebrew interpreters on them ships when they went to go sail the ocean blue. How, how, else would, how else would you communicate with them? How else would you be able to talk to them? Exactly. And how, how did how did Gad be able to show you if you didn't speak? If, if, if you didn't have somebody to translate. Yeah. What the scriptures say, if you don't have nobody to translate, it's like a barbarian. Can't nobody show you shit if you don't know what the fuck I'm saying. That's right. And they ran into them Taino Indians first, which was those Ephraimites, I believe. You know? And then they took a lot of them back in the slaves, you know, back to, to Europe as slaves. You know what I'm saying? They took gold, everything. That man, everything, man. This is the devil. They had took all our stuff, and they knew about all this, but again, the scripture said that these things was going to happen and that it was going to be, see, wealth is never lost, it's always transferred, right, okay, so here it is, it was, since we were given into their hands, all our wealth and all our things were transferred into their hands as well, a lot of stuff that they covered, a lot of stuff that they burned, a lot of stuff that they got down locked somewhere under lock and key and, and guards oh with, with, with the, the, you know what I'm saying, you gotta have five niggas to open the lock, you right, just have one nigga yeah, 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 right, you know, you know, an eyeball from one dude, he right? You know, a man, finger from, from one another, dude, right. uh, a, a pinky toe of the other motherfucker, the spleen of the, the next, right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? 
damn time. God damn. That's you the only way you get in that So, so say that they got all this stuff, but they ain't giving it to you. See, they know about it, man. See, to tell the truth, I mean, to tell a lie, you got to know the truth. All right? To concoct the lie, you got to know the truth, man. But right, they, got, they give you the drugs to sell, sell and enjoy. Let you build up a million dollar empire, and then they confiscate everything from you for yeah. selling drugs. That's what they do. They take all your money. Like they, they set up on fucking Gaddafi. You know what I'm saying? What happened? He took yeah. all this shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's just how you saw get in them, man. That's it. Uh, hey, but again, they it's in the power yeah. of their head to do all these things, man. Yeah. Right. Because they're in power right now. So guess what? You should want no portion of their power. That's they right. created the police. Of their riches. <laughs> they created the military, the, 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 the military. You don't want none of that. They right. they, they created, goddammit, all this bullshit. That's, That's right. right. The scripture say, he that is joined with them shall be thrust through. That's right. it. Right. Shall fall by the sword, man. All right, forget them. Let them have it. Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, man. Render unto the wicked what is the wicked's. Let them have it. Right. And, well, I say let them have it. You're going to let them have it anyway because it's theirs. Yeah, the, the most high gave it to them. Right. You're going to take it from these niggas. Right. They're going to fly a drone on your ass. So, so on they count. be at ease <laughs> in your mind about it, man. Give it to them. Let them have it. It's temporal. All right, it's temporal. When our flex come, man, it's eternal. It, 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 and and, and we're going to show them how to be kings. That's it. We're going to show them how to rule. Right. You see, Jake, you know, they, they talk about, they show Jeff Bezos and Quavo. And Quavo, and Quavo <laughs> got all this jewelry on. And, and they say, look, this is what rich is. And this is what somebody looking rich. I say, no, this is what a peasant is. And this is what a king is. All right, because a king, a king is going to be a king, man. And a peasant is going to be a peasant. Hey, right. hey, and what the scripture say, riches is not comely for a nigga art, man. They don't know how to spend money. They don't know how to enjoy money the right way. And it says right. that uh, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants on the earth. So even though the royalty is walking as servants on the earth, they still trying to be bald and flashy because that's just innately in them to just be flashy, be this royal people. See, but we're going to show you how to do it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai in right. righteousness and in balance. And it's going to be, man, you're talking about like, you know what I'm saying, stunting, stunting with my daddy. Man. You know what I'm saying? What John the Revelation said, hey, he said it was like the gold he seen was damn near transparent. I, it, it, was, right. it was you can so see, you can see you can, this. You can matter of fact, you can fix your fro. You know what I'm saying? Mother. And that boy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that was, hey, you know, hey, and, and, and to walk yeah. in, you know how I clean it. Hey, yeah. hey, give me that scripture where it say I shall uh, for for brass I shall get for gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But can you read that real quick? Yeah. Yeah. I got two uh, quick ones. This is Proverbs 16 and 19. That's Better it is, it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Hey, right. see, yes. better it is to be with the lowly, all right, and of a humble spirit, and in the lowest state, right. right now, while wickedness gets to flourish, all right, while wickedness gets its, uh oh, while wickedness gets its time, oh, we not, we, we, we low, <laughs> we don't want to, you know, be all proud with the wicked and flashing with them and, you know, uh, 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 you know, having the money, cars, clothes, the whole you see success, the videos, and and shit with the yeah. money, talking and things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's all that bull. <laughs> Because all that's going to come to an end. That money phone, boy, that is gonna, ain't going to mean nothing. That nigga's going to be holding their hand up to their face pretty soon. Exactly. Exactly. Right. exactly. Because that brick of money ain't going to mean nothing. We talked about it earlier. And what the elite is doing, they're uh, 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 engineering a crash for that 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 petrol dollar. Yeah. All right? That FRE. The shit, the shit was so strong, they had the force of the motherfucking crash. So here it is, here it is. That's not gonna be nothing so, not dead. It, 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 it's just like, you know, all type of paper money be flying on the ground. You know how now people will be, you know, trying to scramble to get it. Please, in that day, that they gonna that look at that shit like, shit. That was like in Venezuela. You know what I'm like, what the hell I'm gonna do with that? In Venezuela, when they crash happened, 
all the money was on the yes. side of the yep. fucking street just blowing in the fucking wind because the money if money, if money wasn't worth shit. shit. Making origami. Right, right. Everybody. Family's making origami and shit. You so, know what I'm saying? I got that Jeremiah. This is uh, Jeremiah 8 and 1. At that time, saith the Lord, they shall bring out of the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of his princes, and the bones of his priests, and the bones of prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. Right, so, and, and they show you, they, hey, look, Esau going over there fucking with ham shit in Egypt. That's right. right? They pulling, they yeah. pulling, yeah. they pulling ham out of, out of, out of, out of their tombs, and they studying their tombs, and they, they, what they really doing is taking the jewelry and the gold off of them, right? They take it, they taking the jewelry and the gold off of them, yep. and they leaving a, they leaving a, it's, it's like a treasure hunt. You know what I'm saying? They find the treasure, they loot the treasure, and then Indiana you put the Jones. body in the fucking That's in the museum. Hell, it's wicked as fuck. The scriptures say uh, uh, basically about those landmarks leaving. They the, say uh, remove not a, a landmark. Yep. Right, they also did that. Ron Wyatt went into uh, how. Uh, the, the pillar that uh the pillar that uh, uh Moses had put on each end of the Red Sea, they took the pillars, the twelve stones, and they just dropped them in random places in the Red Sea. The uh the, the Ishmael did it, right? The Ish the, uh, the the government just took it up, but it's a plaque where it used to stand. So even though even though they took it down, they still put a plaque to where it, it said that what well, this is what it happened. Ron Wyatt found the real Mount Sinai, right? They say on the, hey, he found the uh, he found the real Mount Sinai. He found uh, the, the rock where, where Moses had hit the rock, and it showed that it split open, and it showed that rock water ran down because you know Esau science had to prove certain shit. I it had the brazen bull. It had pictures of the bull. How they uh, had the uh, hieroglyphics. Uh, they actually documented. On the side of the, on the side of the, uh, some of the rocks about the brazen bull, man. I and it, and it had everything on there. I he got locked up for it. They locked him up for it. Then when they kicked, when he got out of jail, they kicked him out. When he came back a couple years later, they had a gate around, him, and you couldn't get into the, you couldn't get it onto the, onto the property no more. All right? that show you Esau. Hey Esau, hey look, man. This is real, man. Right. This is real. This ain't fake, man. All right? But our people are so goddamn stupid. All right? They were the, hey, like the script, uh, like it's a saying in the world. The truth is stranger than fiction, man. All right? Here it is. You got chariots. All right? They're just popping over worldwide. And they getting low and low. All right? Hey, we telling you what they are. Esau saying they UFOs or UAPs. But through the scriptures, we telling you and showing you what they is through the spirit of Noah, Yahweh, Shema, Shai. But yet you motherfuckers still believe a lie, and your destruction is gonna be merited. Uh, uh, I got a scripture. Uh, this is Matthew 19 and 29. I mean 28. I'm gonna start at 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you that which ye have followed me in a regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of His glory. He also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that has forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or land for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that shall be the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. All right, so, hey, look, fuck, fuck the wealth, all right? Fuck trying to be in this part of this world because look, that's gonna take your time. I uh, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with having some money, but when you get that money and you in that lifestyle, a certain type of, you gotta get up and do this, get up and do that, get up and do this. It becomes your life getting this fucking money. Well, what you're doing is you're producing for this kingdom. That's See, right. Kind. We're supposed to be producing for the kingdom right. to come. Yeah. The, all right, we're supposed to be producing what the most high say righteousness is and submitting to his righteousness and not establishing our own righteousness, man. That's right. And not being about this present evil world and forwarding it. Matthew 6, 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Would you deem a treasure, all right, there will your heart be, which the Hebrew word for heart is lav, which means your mind. So would you deem a treasure, 
that's what you're gonna be. If, if you wanna, you know, get this particular thing, that's what your mind is gonna be on, and you're gonna try to do everything to attain that thing. If you uh, deem this particular thing a treasure, you're gonna go and be about that, and every day, you're, that's where your mind is gonna be, and you're gonna be setting, you know, uh, 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 goals, all right, to attain that thing, all right? What you got, brother? It's Ecclesiastes 5 and 10. He that loveth silver should not be satisfied with silver. But he that loveth abundance with increase, there is also vanity. You like, mm -hmm. you got yep. Hey, you will love abundance with increase when you don't have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and you're not about the kingdom of heaven, then everything is vain because all you over here, you're on your way to death. You know what I'm saying? Let me finish that. Right, that was what I got another one. It says that if you love silver, you won't be satisfied with it. You have to keep going to get more. It's going to be wrapped up in that lifestyle. That. That's going to be your focus, man. Yep, yep, yep. It's sexual. That's why I said through this book, 18 says this. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, but the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So our focus is on what's to come, man. That's right. You know, of course, we, we here, we got to live at, you know, like, hey, just pray and say, get our daily bread. You know, when uh, it says, don't uh, withhold your hand from doing good to yourself, those are okay, you know, it's a perverse and a man now. This ain't our rest, man. We focus on the people of heaven, man. That's right. We're not focused on making it, hey, it says, um, I gotta get that project, man. Right. Say, labor got to be rich. Yes, yeah, use my own wisdom. We ain't meant to be out here trying to make it in society. And hey, them that be rich fall into diverse temptations. All right, you ain't more money, more problems. You're gonna have more issues to deal with. Right. More, you're gonna have to deal with the flesh even more. Yep. You're gonna have to deal with wickedness even more. You know? Yeah, because this was the world that was given over unto the wicked. Uh -huh. See, but you had the examples of those that had faith, and, and, and I think that was in Hebrews, where they was like, you know what, they hadn't received the promises yet, you know what I'm saying, but having seen them afar off, all right, they were persuaded of them. They embraced them, you know what I'm saying? And so we embrace and we are persuaded of better things, man. Forget right. this present evil world and the, the deceitfulness of, of riches of, of, of this world, man. All right? Because it, it's all vanity because this place is going to ultimately be destroyed. So why would I invest my mind, all right, and, and, and invest my, my, uh, uh, my, my, what was it, my affection, all right, why invest my affection in something in this present evil world? Where he said, man, don't set your affection on, on, on things beneath, but, but set your affection on things above. It's like the parable of, 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 of the, the, the builder who built the house on the sand versus on the rock. That's it. If you set your affections on something that's, this is my money and this is my, this is what I want now, this is all temporal. Right. The eternal glory is eternal. Right, so what if you, if you want to set your affections on something, set it on what's going to be long term, yes. and, uh, eternal long term versus a, a, a quick fix. Hey, and then if that's the case, set your affection on righteousness. The righteousness of the Most High God, submit to the righteousness of the Most High God. And if you were king? Because he said righteousness is immortal. Hey, did somebody hit the country already? Nope. It's Colossians 301. If you then be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above. Where my Shiak sit on the right hand of God. So if you risen with him, then you died with him. Set your affection on things above, not on things on earth, for you are dead, and dead. your life is here with my Shiak in your house. You see, we dead to this world, man. We made our body a living sacrifice just like he did. That's right. All right? It says, hey, we follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. Uh -huh. He wasn't about this world. Uh, one more verse. When Mashiach, <laughs> when Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. You see? See, but it was, we have to suffer now, but we have to accept that suffering. And while we suffer, learn and grow through. Uh, all right? And, and, and uh, like it says, it was Masada, but man desire thrones acceptance, desire wisdom, honor with him. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 20. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. See, Ruth 5 and 6. But they departed from thee on foot and were led away of their enemies. But God bringeth them unto thee exalted with glory as children of the kingdom. It's all about following wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, follow the Most High, and he was going to bring you to the kingdom. That's what the Lord told Solomon. In the vision, of course, was the Lord of the truth. 
Solomon to ask for wisdom. So what you want? You ask for wisdom to lead Israel. The Lord said, because you're to ask for riches, right. are you to ask for riches. women, you're to ask for long life, or for wisdom, I'm going to give you wisdom and all these other things, That's man. it. That's it. They say, he said, man, hey, he that forsaken this, forsaken that, you know, you're going to receive a hundred fold. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? So here it is. Forget the right. Forget this present evil world, man, and all its dainties, man. This is just temporal, man. All right? This is where we suffer. This is where we go through, man. Go ahead, bro. This is Luke 12 and 31. But rather seek ye the kingdom of the most high, and all these things shall be added unto you. See, and all these things shall be added unto you. See, it says that the nations of, the, of this world seek the things of this world. All right, we ain't worried about that. And the Lord know what we need to uh, uh, carry on in our day to day. That's right. He know the essentials that we need. That's right. And so he's gonna make sure that we have those things. And like the brother said, he, he's so merciful, all right, that he allows us to even have a little bone of comfort in our head. And, 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 and at the end of the day, when the kingdom comes, we're gonna have everything. 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 Everything gonna be all right. Hey, you got that Isaiah? You still hold it? Yeah, because at the end of the day, this is our shit anyway. That's it. Right? It's it's all, it, 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 so, in essence, so in essence, why are we uh, selling for a piece of the pie, man? When we gonna have all the pie, man? We gonna have a whole goddamn pie. That's right. It says, everywhere the soul of our feet has bread shall be yours. I got that right here. And then, oh, 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 shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joshua 1 and 3. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have that have I given you, you and I said unto most, as I said unto most. So wait a minute, we've been in uh, Israel, Egypt, we saw America. We've been, uh, we've been in caves underneath the earth. We've been, goddamn it, all over. Matter of fact, we even had the one minute that was almost at Neo before the ship blew the fuck up. All this shit is ours. Yep. Scattered everywhere, man. He, he, he said that hey, he's made the world for our sakes, man. To go, we can't, we can't get to our inheritance unless we go through the entrance, the dangerous place to fall. And the dangerous place to fall was the inheritance of the heathen nations. And we don't have no inheritance with the heathen nations. We don't have no inheritance with this present evil world. We're just strangers and pilgrims. All right, here on a mission. All right, to learn to be purified, to be perfected as the righteous rulers, judges, gods, kings, and priests that the Most High is making his special chosen children, man. That's who we are, man. All right, that's who we are. Uh, hey, what's up, did you still have that? Or did it pay no, off? Okay, okay. Go ahead. This Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 15, it says, Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency. An eternal excellency. See, he said at first, man, you know, everybody hated you. You was the hurt first fired, all right? The last hired, the all scarring of the earth, bullets in your back, bees on your neck. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah, you was a prey, all right? Go ahead. Yep. Only oppressed like the curse. Yep. Only oppressed always, man. All right. The laughing stock. All right. It says all that his uh, 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 see these shall whisk, hiss, and clap their hands. Saying, is this not Jerusalem beauty of praise? Yep. Scoffing. Look at these niggas. Yep. I expected this from you. Yeah, you see? Go ahead. It says, Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man would believe, I will make thee eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I, Yahweh, am thy Savior, and the Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Right, and, and so here it is. They're going to build up our kingdom, man. All right? They're going to bring in the, the best of, uh, of their goods. As a matter of fact, they won't even have no goods until we give them their land. So, shit, that, that uh, 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 first thousand years, man, all right, in the kingdom, servitude, the straight-up captivity for these heathen nations. All right, hardcore 
bondage, hardcore slavery, and building up our kingdom, man. It says, everyone that devoured you shall be devoured. And every one of them shall go into captivity, man. And all that uh, I gave for uh, you, you was a spoil, now I'm gonna, they are gonna be a spoil. It says, you're gonna rule over your oppressors, man. And it says that what one nation have not had a part in spoiling us, man. Isaiah 64 before. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen, O power, besides thee. But he has prepared for him that waited for him. You see that it is waited for faith. I was meditating in, 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 in my in my in my sorrows. I got I was meditating in my sorrows about you know, my heart, constant afflictions. And the Lord just with the song voice says, what I'm going to bless you with is to be way better than the kingdom at. And this was just to perfect us anyway. It said, let patience have its perfect work. See, man. see, see now you did, you went the nice way. He came to me and said this. Uh, but he said to me, uh, he said, uh, um, all what he put me through. <laughs> wow. yeah. Yeah. But what he, what he had told me specifically was, uh, and all what I'm going through is what I owe from my sin. That's it. And so it, it took, it took the, 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 when the Lord lets you know why you suffered is for your, your, your sins, it takes away the, 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 the punch of the hurt because, well, shit. It's not like uh, I ain't do nothing wrong. Oh, this is my just desserts. Yeah. What should I got? That's what I'm limitations. One part of the living man can play, but a punch of his own sins. Come man. on, man. They say, what, 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 what good is it if you be buffing it for your faults and taking yeah. patience? Right, 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 right. But right. if when you do it's good yeah. and suffer for it, and you take that patiently, then now that's now we're talking. He said, now that's yeah. faith worthy with the Most High God, and that is also being coupled with our punishment for our own iniquities and our own wickedness and sins that we've committed against our, our father. And sometimes right. we can't find out which one is what. Right. So guess what? It don't matter. Yep. So do your duty, go take and do a harvest as a good soldier. That's it. Pick up your girl, loins, uh, uh, girl, your loins hey. up as a man and come continue this part. Because that's that. what's perfecting you anyway. That's why he said, hey, some people that perfect uh, perfection process some people is going to put them all or put put it off them airy below all right because they can't handle the pressure they can't handle the lower state they can't handle the being uh, 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 persecuted for righteousness sake see they get offended at the way the lord is perfecting us man they get offended at that and so they put the straight gate off of them all right they put the trials and tribulations off of them all right, they put the persecution for standing up for righteousness sake off of them. All right, they tried to put the curses off of them, but ain't no way around that. You know what I'm saying? You gonna go through that one. Rich or poor. But, but hey, but guess what? Sell out of whatever. Don't mean they gonna get it. That's Isaiah first. That why would you That's be stricken right. anymore? Right. You're revoked more and more. Right. The whole heart is sick, head sick, the whole heart faint. Yep. Hey, he said, Lord, it's been beating our ass. Been correcting us. Have us all in all kind of jacked upness. Soon as you get a uh, take, soon as they open up that slave plantation doors uh, uh, of an individual plantation and made it to the uh, United States of America, niggas like ah ah start wickedness. Because now they don't have the overseer right over that back the whole time. You know what I'm saying? When it is, because guess what? Don't go to work. Don't pay your bills. Don't, don't play with that system. You're going to be indigent in this, in this system. And, 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 and just keeping you in this docile mind state yep. to where you're a peasant yes. and you have a peasant mindset, man. Yes. See, yep. this That's wisdom, knowledge, That's and understanding, it gives you a ruling class mentality, man. That's right. See, here it is. These heathen nations, they got a ruling class mentality. That's why they be vying for the next top spot. That's why the scripture says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine the vain thing? See? But here it is, when we have the mindset of being rulers of the known world and all of existence, oh, now that's too much. We crazy. You crazy. We lost our Why can't we equal? We sick. Yeah. Niggas always want to be friends with everybody. Now, nigga, when these motherfuckers be friends with you, motherfucker? Like, hey, niggas want to be friends with everybody besides each other, man. Hey, guess what? I, hey, I could be cool with my servants. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? But at least have a, uh, 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 but no, no, I'm talking about after the 
the, the oh, punishment. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? After the punishment, that's why it says oh, yeah. the, uh, 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 when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Yeah. Yeah. They said the men of the East came to King Solomon for wisdom. I was about to say, you know? talk about how, how did David have a best friend, or I was his best friend. How was he not friends with King Ammon? Said, uh, the king of Ammon, he subdued. Well, he had, David, King David subdued all the places before King Solomon. Just like the king of Egypt gave women over to King Solomon. He gave his daughter over to yep. King Solomon. And King Solomon built her whole house yep. for herself, man. Yep. In the woods. I got a precept for you. And this was the Solomon 6 and 1. Yeah, therefore, you kings understand how you got to be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear to that holy people and glory to the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search out your counsel. The Lord has given us sovereignty, man. All right? We're not, we're not supposed to be these damn heathens, man. That's right. Uh, Exodus 19 and uh, I believe 5. That's right. Through 7, man. We're supposed to be above the nations, man. Exactly. Uh, so, all your priesthood. So in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a world where we're beneath them, in a world where we're subjects to them, we should want that world to be destroyed. And that's what the Lord is coming to do. All right? That's why he said, hey, the Lord is coming like a thief in the night where the heavens shall be uh, uh, dissolved and the earth and the, uh, uh, shall melt with fervent heat and all the works therein shall be burned up. It says seeing that these things is going to happen. What manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And it says, even though this place is going to be destroyed, nevertheless, we look for a new heaven and a new earth. Where we're in dwelling righteousness. Where we're in dwelling righteousness. And, and that's how you know the other motherfuckers don't got it and won't get it. Because they all about here and now, but at the same time, there's a shooting around the corner. There's a goddamn uh, explosion over here. Well, they love that shit. They hard by smoking a nigga down, man. All right, having uh, they call the it the legend in their hood. The legend in their hood. But got that. Hey, I got know. the chopper and I got the, I and got the this say, and I and I clip and I do and I do and I, and, say, I, and I get the stick, stuff. My, my gun got a stick. Even my, you know, he say my piece got a stick. Even my gun is gay. These niggas weird. They call it the dick on the gun. They put the drum on. They call it the balls. See. They love people, love death, man. They like Esau. They, they Esau love death. Like and, but, see, but that's what Esau Edom people don't know that Esau Edom made this nigga. You know what I'm saying? The modern day black culture, Esau Edom, he he engineered that. You know what I'm saying? He made these niggas like this, man. Hey, hey, possible to something to hardcore beyond niggas. Yeah, got beyond, 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 it's demonic as hell, you know. I, hell. Hey, I get security, goddamn. I lay, I lay my head down, and goddamn it, I, I get demons, damn they trying to fuck me up. My like, goddamn, is that man's spirit going on? But, but, but nonetheless, Jake, Jake, uh, uh Glory and man, Joe, man, I mean with the rats and the roaches, and you know I came from the bottom, Joe. This is where I'm from. Nigga, that, nigga, that, that's not something to glory about, dog. That's 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 not something to glory about. See, but again. This is what Esau Edom promotes by telling these, uh, you know, uh, 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 monkeys, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, go out and promote this gang banging and hoodlum and thug and I'm a G and I'm a gangster and I'll, I'll hit your bitch and I'll slap you, you know, and I'll clap you and I'll do all these things and I'll take all the drugs and I'll double cups and pills and this, that and the other thing and you know, this is my block and, you know, this is my hood and you come around and I'll shoot you and do this to you and I've got, you know, all this craziness, man. All this madness. And then all that stuff you just named, yeah. you'll write a book about it, you'll do a movie about it, a play about it, and it'll be number one on all levels. Sir. Yep, and, and, and it's going to be Esau that's the producer, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and they're the top ones getting all the money. Started from the bottom, now we here. Yeah. Started from the bottom, but the whole oh, team's here. Yeah. But guess what? Still in wickedness. Yep. Still in madness. Still in motherfucking poverty. And, and still in subjection. That's right. Like, yeah, yeah. But go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's just like the elders been saying. We out here trying to bring you new 
rough ass niggas out of the darkness and put you into the light, but you so caught up in this world and shit, you ain't trying to, and, and it's all this world and shit that's got you caught up. That's it. Um, this is more, man. Um, and that's why we always talk about you getting it. Uh, it. This, this, this is more. Is, oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I just don't want to catch my, my pocket before hit the ground. Mark 4 and 19, and it reads, And the chaos of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the loss of other things entering in, in choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. You see? See? Two thirds of our people, they're not going to get it. That's why this thing is all about the elect of the nation of Israel. Because they're the ones that's going to be fruitful. All right? The, 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 that, the word of God was, you know, good ground, all right, to the elect. All right? And so they produce the righteousness of the Most High God. All right? See, but the rest of our people, all right, the word, it, it, it didn't, 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 didn't do nothing for them. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a stumbling block, all right? Because they were about this present evil world and the riches of this world, the dainties of this world, all right? They don't want to have to uh, 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 go through for righteousness' sake. That's right. They don't want to uh, have to wait on the Lord, all right? And be humbled before they're glorified, all right? See, no, nah, they want the glory now. See, but it says, hey, uh, 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 uh. Uh, what is it? How it go? Cometh before a fall. Pride. 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 Becometh before a fall. See, if, if, if you don't want to roll with the righteousness of the Most High God, the will and plan of the Most High God, then you saying you got a better plan. Then you say you got better righteousness than the Most High God, that's right. and that's pride. All right, and so pride becomes coming before a fall. That's right. Just <laughs> you will fall. Right, just because you might not fall this moment, right. but tomorrow, the next day, eventually you will. What you got, brother? Uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 10 and 19. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed, Woo! and they that love him an honorable plant. An honorable plant, man. Those that fear and love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And not just lip service, all right? But actually proving it, showing action. See, love, that's an action right there. People tell you they love you all the time, but go do some shit, foul shit to you. All right? So love is an action, man. All right? That's why he says, uh, 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 right, 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 right. Hey, 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 it, it said, hey that's the keeping of, of, of the most highest ways, man. All right? That's showing love. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments, man. Our, our Lord and Savior said that, man. If you love me, Keep my commandments, man. Call, so no 646, why callest thou me Lord, Lord? And do not the do things that I say. You yeah. call claim you love me so goddamn much, be obedient then. That's it. Go ahead, brother. Uh, they that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed. Oh, Perfect. see, they, they, they say that the law done away with. All right, that's a dishonorable seed. That degenerate plant. All right, now, of course, we understand that hey, keeping the law, that's not what's going to save you and make you righteous. Because this, the Bible says that Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for righteousness. Right. See, but now to attain that righteousness, we must have faith in Yahweh Shai. And if we're going to have faith in Yahweh Shai, we must prove it by our obedience and our compliance. And in this time that we have a grace period, see, part of grace, part of the definition of grace is to uh, uh, degenerate. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 generate. All right. I mean. Uh, Man, what is it? Uh, regenerate. All right. Part of the definition of grace is to regenerate. All right. And regenerate and go into that is basically regenerate, constitute. All right. Constitute the law, statutes, and commandments. Best, uh, like the scripture says, uh, you know, should we make uh, 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 avoid the law because we're under grace? He said, no, nah, God forbid, we establish the law. We have stemmy. The law. We establish the law, keep it intact, and do it the best of our ability, man. That's right. All right. Knowing that, hey, we're gonna have some falls, but when the Lord comes, we must be producing fruits of righteousness, man. That's right. That's right. This is done. So how's this? This is the Revelation, the twenty-second chapter. This is the last book 
in the Bible. These are the last commands from Yahweh Shai to the Israelites. Why would he put this there if the law didn't matter? He said, verse 14, blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter and through the gates into the city. So wait a minute, if, if, if the law was gone, you don't have to keep it. Guess what you ain't gonna be keeping? The, uh, the right to enter into the gates? Yeah, I, I have brought out that word regener uh, regenerate, yeah. right? And which regenerate is, a, again, a definition from the word grace, right? Here. right? You look up grace, one of the definition is to regenerate. Now, this is the definition of regenerate. It says to affect or complete moral reform in, to recreate, reconstitute, or make over, especially in a better form or condition, to revive or produce anew, bring into existence again, all right? So what was lost was our way, because we forsook the Most High God, and we forsook the way of righteousness that he gave us. So now it's time to revive that way. It's time to produce a new, bring into existence again, all right? But we just do it to the best of our ability, knowing that, well, that's not gonna make us righteous, all right? Because it says that our righteousness is in Yahweh Shah, all right? And so we have faith in him, but if we have faith in him, then we do it to uh, follow the laws to the, the best of our ability, man. All right, we regenerate, all right? We, during this grace period, we affect a complete moral reform, all right, in ourselves. And he, we're not rolling with the flesh no more. We're not rolling with this present evil world no more. We're not establishing our own righteousness no more but we submit to the righteousness of God. That's right. We're being born again, rolling in the spirit, man. The Most High said, hey, he's a spirit. Therefore, who work, or those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, man. So not out of their own vain opinion? That's right, all right? Not uh, 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 thinking that you're righteous according to your own, the things that you do now, you righteous now. See, that's what the, those uh, 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 wicked Pharisees were doing, all right? They was thinking that the law was going to make them righteous, man. Exactly. See, but he said, hey, he's not a Jew uh, that is one outwardly, but he's a Jew that is one inwardly, all right? Uh, 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 a Jew, you have to be spiritual. Don't be carnal thinking that, oh, you righteous from your own. All right, because whatever righteousness you were able to do, it was the most high that gave you the ability. He the one that doles out the talents. He the one that do he the one that doles out the pounds. Some he give five to. Some he give one. Some he give ten. So whatever you were able to produce, it was on the most high God anyway. So what you talking about, I'm so righteous because I was able to do this or do that. Alright? Well, if you knew something, then you know that you ain't shit because you can't live forever. <laughs> All right? You can't live forever. Now, guess what? The Most High is going to cause us to do so. So now, all praise is honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. Whenever I'm able to do some righteousness, all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. That's it right. ain't because I'm this person and then he, uh, well, Lord, I'm glad I'm not like this guy, I give alms of all, I fast five times a week. I do this, I give, I do that, I do this right, and I keep all these. That's that right? That's they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. See, we got to be about the righteousness of the Most High God and rolling in the Spirit and giving Him all praises and glory, man. He got to be glorified on the earth, man. What man looked like getting some glory before Yahweh Shai get glorified? I Did you not. sick? He said, I you. He said with, the, uh, with, the, with the master, that the servant who's supposed to be working and everything, come and eat, drink, and, you know, get his fill. For the master, he said, I throw not. Right. He said, no, after you did all that, now come fix my shit. And after I'm taking care of now, you may go and take care of your shit. Good. I'm looking at this definition again, regenerate. It says to restore to a favorable state, you know, to a favorable state. That's the grace state. period. Yes. Because when, 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 
Yeah. And if there's so much more network breaks, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For the sake of time, I'm not going to even go there because oh, we'll yeah. be here for another hour or two after that. Yeah. Um, I got a couple lessons on where yeah, I yeah. went into the yeah. whole thing. Because it really goes into the comfort that the Lord has given us. All right? Because what grace actually does is a pro uh, grace is a byproduct of the comfort. It actually strengthens us, builds us up, and gives us everything we need to do to yeah. get our shit together before yeah. you put that hammer down. Yeah. So just as you got a great spirit between, you know, uh, the, the, the dealer or the foreclosed or whatever, or the bill to turn off the bill or whatever, that you didn't pay the bill, they get that period of time. Hey, yeah, temporary immunity. That's it. You know, when a, a, a bill is due, all right, and the bill is due on all of us. What's the bill? What's the wages of sin? Yeah. Death. Yeah. Death. So the bill is due. But he's given us a grace period to regenerate. So he said, some, you got temporary immunity. But then some, now those who, well, all was given temporary immunity. But those who regenerate, now you're going to give, and it's going to be complete. That Your debt is paid. By the blood of Yahweh Shah, your debt is paid if you regenerate. But in your grace period, if you're talking about you still about this world and you can, oh, now, now you can do all manner of sin because the Lord died for me to sin. He died for me to continue in sin. The Lord knows my heart. You a damn fool, man. All right? No. You, he died for now to pay your debt if you're gonna continue in the faith. If you're gonna regenerate, all right? If you're gonna roll in the spirit now. See, we didn't been about the world. We didn't been about the flesh. All right, we have established our own righteousness. He said, let that be sufficient when you walk the wheel of the Gentile. Go ahead. It's Romans 6. I'm gonna start at 16. No, you not. I'm gonna start at 15. What then? Shall we say it because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. <laughs> Shall we transgress the law? All right. Because right now we're under a grace period where he's not killing us right now. Go ahead. Know ye not that to whom you yield yourself servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom you obey. If you are serving to the flesh, and it says to be carnally minded, is death. So you serve in death. If you obey the flesh, if you obey death, then you serve death. Whether of sin unto death. Whether of sin unto death. Or of obedience unto righteousness. Whether obedience of the Most High God and submitting to what He say righteousness is unto salvation and life everlasting and peace. All right, go ahead. But the Most High be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you. <laughs> See? The elect is going to obey this one doctrine, the wisdom of the Most High God, and accept all the things that come with it, even the straight gate, the trials and tribulations. We accept it. Go ahead. Being then made free from sin, he became the servants of righteousness. You see, now being free from sin, because it says, the, the truth shall make you free. Huh. All right? So we're free from that, man. Now we are the servants of righteousness, man. All right, we're serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in the spirit, man, to reap salvation and life everlasting. Go ahead. I speak after the manner of men because of the firmity of your flesh. As you have yielded your members service to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members service to righteousness unto holiness. Unto holiness and being separate from this world. Going back to the holy ways that made us a holy people in the first place, which was the higher ways that the Most High gave us, man. The godly ways, right. the ancient paths, man. Rolling back in that, okay? Let it suffice that you have brought the will of the Gentiles. Let it suffice that you are about the flesh and you are servant to your own flesh and your own ideologies and your own opinions and your own whatever you made up in your own mind or roll with the mind of another mere mortal. Go ahead. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. <laughs> when you were the servants of sin, then you were free from, from, from righteousness, man. All right, you were free to die. All right. You were free to free, free doom. Uh, you don't see you don't see the motherfucking hardcore crackhead trying to be righteous and, and go out there and teach. But they they do they in their sin, man. 
Right. See, whatever, whoever's in there, they're sitting there probably is in there. How, how you gonna see somebody at the football game trying to be righteous and, and then they all and they, oh yo go run 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 they ain't thinking about nothing else but their folly that they in. Yeah. Yeah. What well, fruit had you did in those things? Or up, you are now with shame. <laughs> and you look back and you realize, oh, that was me. I was like, that's what we all do. We reflect and look at what we used to do in the world, the things that we would get into, the things that actually moved us and made us yeah. happy. And then we said, God damn, I was a nigga, man. Yeah. I was that straight ass, that was that yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Man. And, and, and then ultimately what you produced was death. That's it. That's okay. it. Well, the end of those things is death. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the Lord called with it. <laughs> hey, I had to do a batata right there. Uh, a righteous batata. <laughs> now being made free from sin and become servants of the Most High, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Woo but the wages of sin is death. See, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. Woo. But this is what, this what we talking about back here, man. Straight up compliance and obedience to the righteousness of the Most High God and His ultimate will, man. Shit, for our benefit. Yeah. For our benefit. Look at simple. Get right, live everlasting life, glory. Don't get right, get terrible death. My it's son. like an easy choice. Yeah. Yeah. See, what, is, what Moses say? It's life and death before you. Wherefore, choose life so you may live. Nigga, hey. what the fuck? No, no. <laughs> hey, hey, see, but... Hey, the scripture says, as his way, it's plain to God. It says, as his ways is plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. We got so, a sick motherfucker that's out on death. Damn. Let me die. Leave me alone. Funny uh, <laughs> life joke about the weed strain called death. The nigga hit it to die. And they, let me hit that shit. That's madness, man. Why so. would you want death? Damn. Hey, that shit. Right, 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 right. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, no, not D. Right, right. He said, not D E F. No, no, no. Right, right, right. Anybody see? That nigga, that the end. It's right. Yeah, that's him. Death. You gonna hit no more? No, death. You gonna die? You gonna die? Give me some of that. Niggas love death. Man, what type of shit is that? It's crazy, but, but. It's red because, hey, guess what? We were about it too. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Before he brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light, we were under the power of darkness. That's the reason why we do this work, bro. You know, like Damn. David said, we keep ourselves ever before us, man. Yep. We understand where the Lord has brought us from, and we have a hope of where we're trying to attain and achieve the spirit right. and the sanctum. In the inner presence of the Heavenly Father. Who would not want to be sitting so like I know we're not the Lord. Say if you was Yahweh, you how a shot. Man, I wanna be here right. I wanna I wanna I mean I wanna just kneel. Hey, Let bro, me just you see you see what I just did. You see what I did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. This is how it be. Hey, hey, I just, be one of those kings. I just, so just, just to be in the room. I don't care like King David said, said being at the back door. Yeah. Being at the, 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 the doorkeeper. Oh, man. man, I wouldn't mind being the uh what uh nigga coming to America and he was coming up with the room when he came down. That's it. What you got, brother? Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 1. I'm going to start at uh, 18. Come now, let us reason together, said Yahweh. What we reasoning with? We reasoning with the word of God in truth, man. Let us reason together because it talks about how there are some unreasonable and wicked men. You can't even reason with them, man. You can't even bring the, the actual, you know, sound. They say, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear what you got to say. They don't want to hear what you got to say. I don't want to hear that. You see? Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, they yeah. unreasonable. All right? They're unreasonable. Just real quick, if I just look up the definition of reason, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get the, the regular definition of reason and see what we could uh, 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 get glean out of that, right? So it says, a basis or cause as for some belief, action, fact, all right? Uh, a statement presented in justification or explanation of belief. Hey, he said, man, can't you just see from all the stuff and, and believe in me? You know what I'm saying? And reason, you know? So wait a minute. It is pure evidence. If you say unreasonable, you, you you don't want a good explanation. You don't want to understand what it is. Hey, what they say? They say, teach us not good, good things, things, but teach us smooth things. things. Uh -huh. Prophesy lies and deceit. 
Right, it's, so they unreasonable. Right. You know hey, reason. Another definition of reason is sound judgment. Damn. Good sense. Damn. I don't want no good sense. Damn. They don't be you tell me that they don't. Yeah. Uh, sanity. Man. This motherfucker's literally gonna say, well, I don't want to hear what you will hear because they don't want to deal with you. Yeah. Hey, it says to think or argue in in a logical manner. Hey. To form conclusions, to form judgments. All right. To form uh, 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 judgments from facts. All right. This, this is, is the, the facts, facts. <laughs> the truth. The facts. All right, so go ahead. Though your sins be as scarlet, they started should... from where you. Uh, 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 this right. is Isaiah one eighteen. Come now and let us reason together, save your hour. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be, be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel. He shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth yeah. of Yahweh has spoken it. You see, and that's why the uh, the Lord has been telling from the time that he was on the scene and telling the apostles to tell the people, it is high time to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, it's high time to repent. Sincere apology that you were about wickedness before. All right, you were about this present evil world before. You are about something that was contrary to the Most High and His righteousness, His plan. So now repent and forsake all that wickedness and being about this world. Forsake your opinions. Forsake your will. All right? Forsake this flesh. Forsake this present evil world and be about the world to come. Produce for the world to come. All right, that's what it's all about, man. Don't be about this world. All right, because it was given over into the hand of the wicked. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans consist of the 12 tribes of Israel, the special chosen children of the Most High God. You ain't, you ain't black. You ain't Mexican. You ain't Puerto Rican. That's right. You are Israelite, man. You are chosen, a special chosen child of the Most High God. Right. Your enemy, the self-proclaimed white man, he don't want you to know that. That's right. He, he wants you to believe that you're a so-called black man, a so-called Mexican man. So-called brown man. A so yeah, you brown and black. Man, they gave you the name. You are, you are a special <laughs> royal child of the Most High God, man. That's right. Y'all Israelites, man. Right. Y'all not what the white man told y'all. That's right. And indoctrinated y'all with his Christianity. Now the Bible is true, but the way that they teach the Bible is wrong. All right? We are the special chosen children. You're special. Royalty. Royalty. All right, but hey, it a thumbs up. We'll see. We'll see, but, but these are the seeds that's being planted, hey, man. Hey, hey, bro, we, yeah. we, we are hypocritical people. One of the claim to be king. Yeah. But it has no proof. Yep. When all the proof is here in the scripture. And then there is only a one kingly way that has you reign forevermore. And that's the way of the most high God, man, being godly. Rolling with what he say is righteousness, man. All right, this is what this is all about. But here it is, steps. we're being purified and perfected to be those righteous rulers, man. And it took this present evil world, the straight gate, all right, the dangerous place to fall, the furnace of adversity, all right, where the 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 the, the, uh, uh, the grain of evil seed was planted in this present evil world, all right, and it was given a particular time to be prevalent, man. What you got, brother? Uh, this is Second Peter two and nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, uh huh, a holy nation, yeah, a peculiar people. That's right. Okay, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. You see, called you out of the darkness, which is this present evil world and the philosophies of the world, the riches of this world, the dainties of this world, all right? It's all darkness, man. 
and he has called the elect of the nation of Israel out of darkness into his marvelous light, man, to forsake this present evil world and wait on him. And while we wait, be purified and special. While we wait, proclaim and confess and profess Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai, who's the greatest example, man? Right. Who we glorifying yes, here sir. on the earth? Yes, sir. All right, and we doing it before. All right, all the other people glorify him when he come with his power and his wrath. All right. Any last ones before we uh, uh, wrap up? Just real quick, uh, Elvin, the same again. Numbers don't lie, men and women do. 100 million a month dispensaries selling to its own Christians. You see what I'm saying? So they don't, hey, here it is, man. These people, they're going to give you these gifts. They're going to give you these things. They're going to give you and promote this stuff, all right, that you can have. So you can be looking back just like Lot's wife, man. See, no, but we got to be focused, man. Our eyes single, and we're about the kingdom of heaven, man. Right, right. Our inheritance. We're not about the inheritance of these heathen nations, man. So it's high time to awake out of sleep, man. Right. Repent, all right, for your salvation is nearer than you believe, man. Right. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, right. all right? So uh, did you have something? Yeah, I got one. Go ahead, uh, brother. Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statues and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord power of your fathers giveth you. See, and that's a promise, man. All right, and the man of the Most High is not a man that he should lie, man. He said he's not gonna uh, 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 break his promise. Like I said, that uh, Isaiah, uh, a, a, a woman, you know, may forget her suckling child. All right, let's end on that. Whoever get it first. All right, see, but the Most High, he's not going to forget his special chosen children and the promise that he gave to them, man. The promise. Okay, go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jeremiah 44 and 7. Oh, you got the wrong one. Wrong one. It's Isaiah yeah. 49 and 15. <laughs> Yo, man. Hey, 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 look, you did the same thing. That's what I'm talking about. This is Isaiah 49 15. Can a woman forget her sucking child? That she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget. Yeah, will I not forget thee? Hallelujah. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Thy children shall make haste. Thy destroyers that they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee. Lift up thy eyes round the belt, and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee. As I live, saith the Lord, thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all, as with the ornament, provide them on thee as a bride doeth. Thy waste and thy desolate places, and the land of thy destruction, shall even now be too narrow by reason of inhabitants, and they that swallow thee up shall be far away. See, he, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Listen, <laughs> quick part of that, man. The Lord, it says, uh, our, our, our newest state is going to be better than our last state, man. That's it. So right here, the land we have before, as great as it was, it's going to be too narrow for us, man. We're going to reproduce. All right, we're going to reproduce so much, we're going to need more land, man. That's it. To the point, we're going to have it to have this, man. This is what we're looking forward to. That's it. This is the blessing the Lord has given us. He said, uh, I've forsaken you a little man, but, 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 go ahead. Like that. Hey, but that's that's what's happening, man. He is perfecting us to be these gods, these baby creators, right? These rulers to where a, 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 a existence is gonna forever expand. And look, you know, in my head, he, we're the sons of God. That's it. What is now? Even Esau and his wickedness and his calculations is saying that they have mathematical equations saying how the universe is ever expanding. The Lord says it's in the it's scripture, it up. right? And is that too? It's it's right? speed up. That, that yes, well, right. But the, the Lord is uh, is becoming what is becoming. He's is this, the universe is going to He said, "Stretch out the heavens." He, he's he's, he's curtain, still yeah, stretching yeah. out the heavens. That's how you know Esau's the life. They exactly. tell you it was from. They tell you know how long this planet is. This planet. They don't know shit, man. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And Isaiah fifty four and eight it says, "In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, over everlasting kindness 
will I have mercy on thee? She said, Your house, your house is not redeemed. Nice. So this punishment we're going through is nothing compared to what we get, man. That's right. This is a little wrath. That's right. But we get this everlasting kindness, man. That's right. right. And it's going to come everlasting joy, everlasting joy, man. Back <laughs> that's guys, good. Step hey, that's the good news, man. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I was going to say, quick, quick, quick. Uh, he's punishing us less than I think we deserve. That's right. Isaiah 49 19. For thy waste, thy desolate place, though, Yahweh. And the land thy destruction shall even now be to narrow by reason of the inhabitants, and they that swallow thee up shall be far away. The children thou shalt have after thou hast lost the other shall say again in thy ears, The place is too straight for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. Right. Then shalt thou, this is talking about our land, Jerusalem, and talk and say this. Then shalt thou say in thy heart, Who hath begotten me these? Saying, I have lost my children, and am desolate, a captive, a removing to and fro, and who, and who hath brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. Hey. These, where have they been? Man, you see, because those people over in the land right now aren't the true inhabitants. Therefore, if the scriptures tell it's saying it's still desolate. That's right. Even though it's inhabitants in there. They got pink city over there. Man. Exactly. Yeah. All right, go now, ahead. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, I will lift up. That's Isaiah the first chapter. It says that the heathen, your enemies, devour before your face, man. That's it. They destroying our land. Destroying it. Therefore, it's desolate, man. Go ahead. That's right. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy son. Yeah, man, we're being pure and perfected to when the Lord come. And that's why he said when he come, he's coming to abase those that's high and exalt those that's low. That's right! See what I'm saying? So we're going to end it right there. Lord willing, that was edifying. We're going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Above it, above 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 above